is the only place I've ever been in, you know, two, three hundred investigations. I feel confident saying this, this is evil. There's an evil in this house. What's up, everybody? It's Colin here. And now on the Paranormal Files, oftentimes we cover dark subjects, dark investigations, dark entities. Tonight's video is a bit different, and this is a warning to all of you who are about to watch this video. This entity that we're dealing with at the Sally House, it's not a little girl. Apparently, this entity is evil. It's dark. It has driven people to consider murder, to think of killing their partner. Investigators have told us many things about this entity, one thing being that it likes to travel. So if you're afraid of being haunted, if you're really genuinely afraid that this video might be able to affect you in that way, which I think it, it might be able to since we're here asking for it too. I advise you to turn it off now. If you want to open yourself to this, continue with caution. But tonight we are here in Atchison, Kansas at the notorious Sally House. And welcome to the Paranormal Files. Please proceed with caution because viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody. My name's Colin Brown. I'm a paranormal investigator, a documentary filmmaker. I like to cover stories that bring light to injustices. I like telling history. I love the paranormal. One big thing about my channel has always been that I don't believe in demons. Um, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I just personally am not religious. Lots of people are, that's totally okay. That's your choice, that's just, it's been something that I've been trying to disprove in the paranormal field because what I see when it comes to paranormal investigating is that when people hear this word demon, they are scared. They instantly don't want to open themselves up to the paranormal. They never want to give it a chance. And Hollywood, big TV shows, big movies use the word demon to sell. They get more viewers, more clicks by saying everything's a demon, obviously. And I don't believe that that's true. I believe that most of the time, this energy is just energy. You know, whether it's good or bad, residual, active, intelligent, it's all energy. Everything is energy in this world. But for the first time ever, after filming this video, my mind has, uh, has changed a little bit about my belief. What you're about to see in this video is not only shocking, but it's scary. I'm getting chills right now just thinking about it. And it's 100% real. For the past month, ever since our investigation at the Sally house, Sally, or whatever the entity is, has come through on different investigations. It's almost followed us. We've all had nightmares. My parents have seen something in their house. I personally have had a very, very hard time with my mental health. So that's something that I feel like everybody should be okay with talking about. Mental health, it's something that affects so many people. I've been in a somewhat rough place. And it all really started after this investigation. My nightmares, my, the thoughts in my head, the, the things that I've been thinking about. This is real. This channel is real. What we do here on the Paranormal Files is real investigations. It's not to sell merch or tickets to events and stuff. This is, a, this is a, basically a video diary of my experiences on my journey with my family, the people I love, my friends. This is gonna go down in history as um, I think one of the most disturbing videos I've ever released. I'm almost afraid to look back and edit the footage because of how it made me feel at the time. The activity that we captured in this video is unlike any activity that we've ever captured in the history of the show. So once again, this is a warning to those of you watching at home. If you're susceptible to these types of energies, it's not worth it to watch this video, man. What you're about to see is, is extremely dark shocking. I literally have goosebumps right now when I'm just talking to you guys. I present to you the most haunted house in America, the true demon house, our investigation at the Sally house. Welcome to the paranormal files. So I'm 
going to start this video off um, by featuring some fans of the show, people that love the content. I'm sure that you guys that I, I'm about to talk to are watching the video right now. I wanted to chronicle some other people's experiences with demons to give them a platform to allow them to explain what they experienced that made them feel like they weren't just talking to a spirit or an, an entity, but they were talking to something quote unquote demonic or, or what you would call demonic, something evil. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a listen to what you guys have to say about this. Okay, well, my name is Franny Becerra, and I'm a big fan of yours. I'm super excited to be on this. And I'm also wearing your merch. If you guys didn't buy it, you gotta go buy it. Hell yeah, and, thank you. And then I'm also here to share my spooky story I experienced as a kid. So I also do have um, Twitter, Franny Becerra, so there's that. And then I also want to give a shout out to my family in Mission, Texas. I miss you guys and love you guys so much. Aw, that's cute. I, I love you. Mission, cool place. All right, so this uh, <laughs> this demon story, let's, uh, let's hear it. All right, so I am from Modesto, California. I was around five to six years old. Me and my mom were living with a family friend and just like you know years went by we stay there until like i was in junior high and then this one day i remember it's just like it's very hard to forget i was going to sleep and then it's like this hallway was like insane that he had it was like so long and just like terrifying like you could just like see things sometimes and this night i actually saw something i saw like a dark figure walking towards me and like as a little kid you know just like this isn't real, I'm just scared. So I like, you know, I wipe my eyes, I like wink. I was like, this isn't happening. So I want to go lay down. As I was laying down, I was just like hearing things a lot closer to me. So I just covered up. And then from that, I just felt like something like right by me. Like you just feel that presence and then like something touched me. And I was like, so unreal. And then the and then on my door, there's three claw marks. And I was like, so terrified. It's like, it actually happened. You thought it was just in your head. And just seeing that was just proof. So you actually heard the thing coming down the hall, felt the presence, felt the touch, and then there were claw marks, physical claw marks on your door. Yes, and I was like so shocked, you know, like being as a kid, as a kid, you're just like, this wasn't real, it's just all in my head. And then seeing that, it's like, it really did happen. It's not a lie, it's not in my head, it's not a joke, it really did happen. And that, you believe, was a, a demonic experience because of the, the claw marks? Yes, and also, just like I was saying, and like I was telling you in the email, that um, it was like a dark figure. I seen horns, and it just like did not look friendly or anything, you know. So it was scaring me. So you get that vibe already, scaring you. It's like that's that's not good. It, you saw horns on this figure. Yes, I did. It was very just like it was seriously just like right there. It's just like what what am I seeing? That experience when you were younger mm -hmm. was so shocking. So real to you that still to this day you believe that yes it was a demon yeah it's just like i was thinking earlier it's just like you don't think these things are real until they actually happen to you or you have your personal own experience like that Granny, and you stay you safe so yes yeah, stay spooky to you yeah thank you you too <laughs> well, have a good day yeah you too thank you thank you bye hi my name is valentina so back when i was in middle school there was this game going around called Hotel 626. It was a scary game. I was at a friend's house one night playing it with them before dinner. And we went to bed or downstairs, uh, not thinking anything of it any longer. Uh, important, their dad was a light sleeper so he could hear us. We had to be quiet. And they had a dog sleeping upstairs in a kennel by the stairs. Um, while the night progressed at 2 a.m., we started to hear somebody coming down the stairs. At first, we thought it was just their parents telling us to be quiet. We peeked, and there was nothing there. And then progressively throughout the night, it got louder, and it almost seemed like somebody was falling down the stairs. And at that point, we were freaked out. We were huddling in a group together under a blanket, and then we started hearing scratching at the door and like the doorknob was trying to open even though we had it locked. Uh, we waited until morning. Suddenly, noises stopped as soon as the sun came out. 
we went upstairs, asked their parents if they heard anything or what was going on, because we heard these scary noises, and they said they heard nothing. And from that point on, the noises did continue for these girls at their house, and I, I feel terrible. I don't know. I think that game opened a portal, and since we were young, we did not know how to close it. Did the activity end for them, or did it just kind of continue for a while? It continued for years, I believe, is what they said. Really? Yeah, one of the twins, she lived downstairs alone, and it continued, and so she moved upstairs with her sister, and then it followed and was annoying them at the, their door, so. Wow. <laughs> well. Yeah, I don't know what it was. We never saw it, but. Do you think it was something demonic? I do. I think it was very dark because the game we played, you try to escape this hotel and there's like creepy entities in the game like ghosts or demonic figures. So I think we must have invited something in. And once you invite it in, it's in. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So I'm here with Rick, Sarah. You guys, if you watch Another Dirty Room, you've seen Dan Bell's videos, friend of mine. Uh, Rick and I have seen some creepy shit when we were filming in Baltimore. Yes, uh, together. Yeah. Especially the mansion. Oh, Upland's mansion. Can't forget. Yeah. But all that footage is gone, sadly. You want to talk about experiences people might have had involving demons. Yes, you have a story. I'm going to let you just share I, I don't like demons. I don't even want to be near anything that has ill intent for me, but I'm a, an avid uh, paranormal investigator and anything that I'm up for going and checking it out. So I was asked by a friend to join her group. She had an all woman's uh, para group to check a friend's house out because the, uh, the one girl uh, who had unfortunately uh, intellectual disabilities was being attacked and it would uh, basically get her up into a frenzy and it didn't take a lot because she had unfortunately that kind of a potential. And uh, it exacerbated to a point where this common friend, who actually I met on the night I went and investigated to try to help her out. In terms of the night itself, there was a couple of things. We saw in a photograph, an image, which if you looked at it cross-eyed, you might be thinking it's a skull with horns coming out of it. But it was something that we saw where there was noise noted and it was in front of a door, a partially open closet. And you know, closets are a space that happens to be one of the places to think of activity or the opening to anything. So that's where maybe we got something. And then there were noises and even growling sounds. When you hear growls, that's never a good thing. I like when I hear uh, some kind of a demented laugh or something like that, that's better. It's just another uh, Casper, but uh, this was no Casper. Beyond the night that I was there, I was a part of conversation with my friend as she was trying to think of what else she could do to help as this just continued to get worse and worse. Eventually it, it drove them out of the home. And then my friend who was the leader of this group of women, she found suddenly something strange happening in her own home. Of course, uh, it was when she's alone, her husband was in bed for the night. It started with just like a dark, something went across the doorway when she looked from where she was sitting into her kitchen and it ramped up to uh, deliberately just trying to always have her ill at ease. It affected her ability to sleep, which then made her tired, which, you know, becomes cyclical. So that we do uh, have that around anywhere, I guess, but we've had it in Baltimore and that was my experience. And um, I, I can tell you, it really was uh, horrible to watch how it affected my friends and to how I heard about how it kept affecting the daughter, who to this day is still institutionalized because of her problems, which might have been accelerated or exacerbated by the entity or whatever it was. And you were there at that 
on that night. And that was one one night where we all came to a head. It was like six of us all working through the house together or separately, just seeing what we could sense. And um, I don't know if you ever heard of the name Bill Bean. He's a Marylander who was, became renowned in terms of dealing with demons specifically. He was consulted. He wasn't willing to go to this home. It was after the point that he got to no longer feel he could really do like cleansings and such, but that's what he had done. And you've done, obviously you and I have done uh, ghost hunts and investigations together, but this at the house when you were there seemed different. I'm looking, you could see how the people were affected. You could look at their face. This was nobody BSing anyone, you know, this was really, pain to them well rick that is all you need to pray some more than you do before you go in and after you're done before you go out buddy because you happen to have gone to some pretty rough places all right so my name's emily um we're from syracuse new york um, and we had an absolutely terrifying experience at a local spot called Split Rock Quarry. So um, this event took place back in November of 2019 when me and my now fiance decided to just go kind of for a walk in the trails with another friend of ours. And um, as soon as we got there, you know, I was a little apprehensive, but I was like, you know, I've been in to this place before. so. We get into the trail and I immediately had this gut-wrenching feeling and I decided to continue on and we all did and we got to this one spot and my fiance is smelling the air and I'm like hey like what's wrong he's like do you smell that and I'm like yeah and it was just a musty earthy but non like it's not natural smell I thought it was coyotes yeah and it smelled like wet dog and then the trees started creaking and it was a very quiet night and we immediately just rushed back down the trail we felt like we were being followed in my mind's eye like in my mind's eye i literally felt like people were trying like putting their hands up through the soil trying to grab me and my fiance started acting really out of it he started kind of swaying and acting like he was drunk and I kept having to pull him back onto the trail. He kept trying to go off of the trail and my other friend was trying to go off the trail as well, claiming that she saw an apparition trying to guide her to another part of the trail into the woods and I was like, no, you have to stay and we kept going and my fiance said he, when we got back to my car, he said he didn't recollect any of the events that just had happened and we were all really shaken up, so we went home. He actually ended up throwing up when we got back to his house. And that night I had a really alarming nightmare that he had, like, I heard wolves and he had just left and he vanished into the woods. And we just didn't feel normal a few days after. And then um, a couple months later, I was doing a meditation to kind of help myself go to sleep. And all of a sudden, an image of the split rock quarry crusher just came up into my mind. And I immediately darted off and I woke him up. And I told him that that place had a hold on me. Like, I felt like I had, like, that place took a part of me. All right, so, um, yeah, so just a real quick uh, background. We were, like, lifelong pagans, really. We were raised that way. And um, seeing, you know, scary shit in layman's terms is, is pretty standard you know we're not one of those people that like glamorizes or embellish it talking about these things um we've done exorcisms we've done seances lots of experience to me i'm getting chills talking about it yep. right now and um it felt so overwhelmingly strong uh i we believe that it was something that my grandparents used to talk about of uh, elementals we went there to celebrate Samhain and pay homage to the people that were lost. And we went there with good intention. And um, Emily's right, it was like this thin trail and it sounded like animals were running real fast on either side, it smelled like wet dog. And it just felt this intense paralyzing fear. And it, 
I don't know if it was demonic. We've had encounters like that. This just... It, it wasn't like we were being watched. It was like we were being chased. Um, we've dealt with demonic presences where it feels like something's staring at you and kind of like draining you. This just literally, we were the cars and it took the keys. It was... It completely took him over. It affected him 100%. And he's strong. He is strong. I can't even begin to describe to you. Like, there's no way for me to make anybody understand that feeling that we had that night. We were there for probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And it felt like we were there and back to the house in 10, 15 minutes. I felt like time was taken from us, Yeah, something definitely happened that night. And again, we went out because the veil was the thinnest, paid homage to the lost souls and... Uh, took another like-minded folk with us. It was absolutely unreal. I got back. I was in a daze. I slept for like 12, 13 hours the next day after throwing up. Just horrible, horrible dreams and something. It, I guess if you had to call it anything, I, demonic wouldn't be too far off. Uh, so hello, my name is Madison. I actually live here in Texas and I had a paranormal experience happen to me when I was 15 years old. Uh, as a kid, I grew up like I, I had a lot of paranormal experiences myself. I have an older sister and at this time she was watching my baby sister from my mom's side. She would go and stay at her house frequently. This house she moved into after my great uncle had to be checked into a retirement center for war veterans. The reason behind him being checked in is uh, unfortunately because my grandmother said that he was experiencing hallucinations and um, having a lot of mental problems. He was probably in his early 90s. So that was the reason why she checked him in because he was living on his own at the time. So my sister moves in with her boyfriend and his daughter. She would in passing tell me about experiences that she was having in the house. Like people were in the window outside of her house and she thought that was strange. She would go outside and there wouldn't be anybody there. Strange sounds, things like her bed being pushed from underneath. You just all kinds of random paranormal experiences. So I didn't look, I didn't think too much of it. And I went to go visit one time. Uh, her boyfriend's daughter and I were there alone with my little sister. And my sister and her boyfriend went off to go do something. She starts to come to me and say, are you calling my name? Are you calling my name? I said, no, I'm not. I'm just in here like minding my own business. So that was kind of freaky. I would smell rotten egg smells throughout the day and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. But the main issue that happened was when my sister went to go get holy water because she was telling me about all these experiences and I was telling her like, oh, well, um, I'm smelling rotten eggs. Um, there's lights that are dancing all over the ceiling. The fan like unplugged by itself and stopped moving like, like a floor fan. And she's like, okay, experiences are getting too weird. I'm gonna go get some holy water and just splash it around the house. So she did that. When she did that, we left my baby sister in the back room. It was a one bedroom house. We left her in the room and she was doing this in the living room in the kitchen. All of a sudden, my sister just like had the color drained from her face. And she's like, you need to grab your sister. And I was like, okay, why? And she's like, because she thought it was a demon that was in the house. She said, demons like to attach to children or like to affect children. And she was very little. I try to open the door to go grab her and the door was locked. And I said, can you lock the door from the inside? And she said, yes, but I didn't lock it. So we're trying to open it, trying to open it, trying to open it and it won't open. And I reach again for the door handle and it, there's a growl that comes from the door handle. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So finally I get the door open, no tools were used. It just opens by itself. And my older sister runs in and grabs my baby sister. And as I'm holding the door open, there is something that is pushing against the door. And it wasn't just like I hit the wall and it bounced back. It was pushing against me. And I was yelling at her like, grab her, grab her. So she grabs her. And then we shut the door back. And then my sister's like, oh, I left my keys and my other stuff, my phone or whatever in the bathroom. So the open the door opens again and she goes into the bathroom to grab her stuff. And she said she walked into a portal. To me, that's crazy because I feel like I'm, even though I do believe in the paranormal, I feel like I'm a realist. And when she said she felt like she walked into a portal, I just can't wrap my head around it. But I guess people who have experienced it know what that feels like. She freaked out. We all ran outside and we go to a church. And I honestly don't remember a lot that happened after that experience. I think I kind of blocked it out 
and I told my grandmother about it and my grandmother is Mexican and so she did like the host ritual on me or whatever like crack the egg in the cup to make sure I didn't have any bad spirits or like anything attached to me and then after that I just I stopped experiencing paranormal paranormal things what's crazy is that the reason my great uncle got put into this the retirement center is because he was telling my grandmother his sister of all these things that were happening to him and she thought he was crazy and so when my grandmother told me about him seeing people in the windows she thought that was him hallucinating we didn't tell anybody this my grandmother only told me she said don't tell anybody else about this and then after my sister moves in she tells me that she's seeing people in the window and i immediately was like oh my god that's what my that's what happened to my uncle so we went to the retirement center to talk to him about it and he would not talk to us about it at all there was something in that house you would consider that to be a demonic encounter. I've heard of the rotten egg smell as being demonic related. Another thing she told me is that, and this, I didn't experience this, but uh, the radio would come on at three o'clock in the morning every night, which three o'clock is like the witching hour, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, that, that was, yeah, the whole experience basically, but. It sounds scary though. It was. Many, many times when people think that there is a spirit or something, that they are mistaken. But we do believe that they do exist. And I have done blessings for people. They are totally approved by the Catholic Church. Would you consider that to be something that would be dangerous doing the Ouija board or, or I mean we, we just tried to talk to something. I think you should never ever do it again and throw it out. The Ouija okay, board. Okay because yes okay because these things often do happen after that. The you know, first case I ever dealt with was somebody who really got into Egyptology but these things often are associated with these things. It, it's not that every time somebody uses one of these, something happens, but you, you should never use it again. I think you should throw it out. Uh, give it to somebody, just get rid of it. I, I wouldn't use the word demon. I would say it's something supernatural that we don't understand. There are spirits sometimes the, these things are not malevolent. They are just there, you know, that I've run into a case or two where it seems like it is somebody who died who is somehow stuck and their, their spirit has not been able to move on. And, you know, maybe we can release them from that. But what we tell people is, you know, if it's a, sometimes these things are attached to things, they're attached to places, they're attached to people. And, you know, if, it's, if you think it's attached to something, you should throw that thing out. There is a reason why the form includes, among many other things, have you ever used a Ouija board? Because we have experiences that sometimes something like this happens. Doesn't happen every time, but, you know, there things that happen are sometimes people have traumatic injuries or are victims of certain kinds of abuse or you know, medical conditions. There, there's a number of things that make us vulnerable. Sometimes these things are attached to things, they're attached to places. And now we get to August 2021, right there in Atchison, Kansas, at the Sally House. What you're about to see is actually the second interview that we shot. Elijah, he is a member of Apex Paranormal in Kansas City. I always love working with different paranormal investigators wherever we travel to. Elijah's a great guy. And from the very beginning that we arrived, the moment we arrived at the Sally House, the weirdness began. Never had this happen before ever in the history of the show. We filmed 15 minutes of an interview with Elijah outside of the Sally House. He didn't even want to go inside the house because of his experiences. In the middle of his interview, as he was talking about Sally, the demon, the entity, my camera malfunctioned, it glitched right there in my hands and it deleted the entire interview that we had just shot with Elijah. So that footage is unrecoverable. What you're about to see right now is actually the second interview we did with Elijah. And you can see in the footage how obviously unsettled all of us are. And this is in the broad daylight outside of the house, not even inside. So let's, uh, let's begin the investigation. Thank you. 
just got here and I noticed right outside the Sally house there's a bird that looked like it just dropped dead perfectly preserved it looks like it just died like a couple minutes ago and it just there's nothing for it to run into around here it just looks like it dropped dead and there's the house right there I don't see any other dead birds on the street anywhere just uh, right here in front of the Sally house. Weird. First time in the Sally house, we're just here doing drone shots, but guess we'll, uh, I wanted to film this because it's the first time we're going in. Ready? Yeah. It's stinky. What do you mean oh. stinky? Oh, what the hell? TV's on. What? <laughs> What? Why is this on? <laughs> oh, that is creepy down there. Yeah. Isn't that creepy down there? Yes. Hey, that's where Courtney and I are going to go. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Send this down in the, in the basement. <laughs> Play her some music. Down on the ranch and strawberry shortcake. Hmm. Song she likes? Several investigative teams agree the missing entity may not be Sally, but an old woman who felt her death on the basement stairs. Yeah, just to explain to people, when we came in, the stereo was playing. It's like a typical like haunted house. Imagine if it started right now again. Did y'all stop it? Yeah, I stopped okay. it. But like That's weird, was it just playing all night? I don't know. That was really I don't know why you, if you're leaving, leave a stereo oh, right. on. Oh, like surgical stuff up there inside her. Oh, Sally's kind of creepy. Is this the stuff, the actual stuff that was used for the appendectomy? I don't know. Well, what must have been it? Elijah Cullen. <clears throat> That's the head of Apex Paranormal for all of Kansas. This is the one place that he said it, he doesn't want to ever come back to. He's gone all over the country. He's coming, and he said, man, my stomach is in knots just driving up here. Really? Good. Yeah, he's like freaked to come back here. Wow. Yeah. He said it's like, it's like evil. They all, when they were here, they said it's like sure evil. <laughs> Bless you. Evil as a sneeze. Oh, he just texted wow. me. Missy Sally. Ooh, she's creepy. You were feeling chills in here just a second ago? Yeah, I still am. I'm feeling a little bit. Again, a little bit dizzy, almost, or something like that. Hmm. Isn't it kind of a little bit, if you look at this place, or if you start looking at it, it's kind of like not yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, There's it something is. about, it's really yeah. off. I see. Mm -hmm. The floor and everything, it makes you feel... Well, this table is tilted if you can see that, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, I think, going this way. Yeah. Oh, that's what it looks like. Oh, did you hear oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Maybe there's a cat spear. He said he's like three minutes out. So should we do oh, the drone shots be, after? This, yeah, this is going to be interesting seeing this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you guys charge this battery all night that's in here? I did. It's on 50% already. Really? And this is a big battery. I did charge that all night. <laughs> and it was full. Does it actually on the screen have half the battery? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the video That's very strange. That's weird. Oh. Yeah. 
that's 100 percent yeah it's interesting because this was charging all night and then you can see right there yeah the battery is already halfway depleted that was and it was full when i turned it on 100 percent charged <laughs> weird oh. yeah huh mm-hmm. oh it's like a clicking Here. It's freaky. I mean, really. I'm, it is. I, I, I don't think you can see this. Oh, there's something here. Oh. My hair is, look at this. Can you see it? Yeah, you got a hell of goosebumps. There's like totally a lot of stuff going on here. Oh my gosh. And this is what, four in the afternoon? <laughs> Let's go out and meet him. He's having all these experiences. What? Just back on you. My. The camera card just reformatted in the camera. Are you filming that? Yeah. Look at this. Can't While I was shooting the interview, the camera card you may have just lost that. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah so. Even the camera battery, we charged it all night long, and it had full battery. And then right when we stepped inside, it went down to half battery, like. 50%. Weird. That's very strange that that just cannot Can you see if it's saved? <gasps> no. She might be pissed on here too. Really? What the f- Yeah, she's, she's like, I haven't seen us. you in a while. <laughs> she's followed us. She's shown up four or five, six different places all around the country. Oh my god. Wow. Oh shit, I'm sorry. We gotta redo that. That's all right. I have it on this too, but yeah, yeah that's we need really- the the microphone though. All right. Okay, so that's never happened to me ever filming the show. To let you guys know what happened, we were filming, we were talking for like 10 minutes. We just got through all the history of the house and then my camera glitched out and we just, all the other data, look at All the other data on here is still here from us filming in New Orleans and everything. Weird. But the, the clip that we just shot is gone. That's it's so it's not there. So, All right, we'll just, just start started it. Yeah, down. just our energy disappeared. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never and I've never seen that. No. Okay. okay. Well, That's got me messed up, man. Right. That's crazy. <clears throat> okay. Um, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Elijah Bucolt. I'm with Apex Paranormal. I have Kansas City Paranormal Investigator. And you've done hundreds of investigations. Done hundreds of investigations. We've been all over the country, some of the scariest places in the world, and we've been investigating the Sally House for the last seven years or so, seven plus years, and this is the only place we will never return to. Like, you're done forever. We're done. Our last investigation here was two years ago. Um, through the years, every time we investigate, it's gotten more and more intense, and the last one got so bad that we just decided that's it. We just can't go back there again. Really? And why? But what was the breaking point? Uh, so the the breaking point for us was when it became very personal. Um, started making direct threats at us. Started making direct threats at our family. Talking about we call her Sally, but talking about I'm riding home with you. We're gonna be together. I'm gonna be in the backseat of your car. I'm going to, and we kept saying, no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. That's not okay. No, you're not. Then it was, I'm going after your family. I'm going to live in your home. I mean, it was just, it was too much. It was just too much. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I guess let's go through the history of the house again okay. with the stuff in the basement, people doing rituals and everything. Okay. 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 So, so the Sally house started off as a, 
personal residence for a local doctor in town. Um, the Sally story actually is related. You want me to do that all together? Yeah. The Sally story actually is related to that doctor. The story goes that uh, Sally was a little girl in town. Her mom brought her here to the doctor when she was having severe stomach pains. Uh, doctor determined she was having appendicitis and did an emergency surgery on his kitchen table and she bled out and died on the table and that it's Sally's ghost is who haunts this place. Um, through the years after the doctor passed away, his family passed, uh, the, the house went through several different families, was always a private residence up into the 1990s when Deb and Tony Pickman um, lived here and they really made the Sally House famous because of all the experiences they had. Lots of personal attacks, scratches so bad that they were bleeding from them, things being moved, voices. Um, Tony at one point saw a little girl, he came home from work, opened the fridge, got something out, closed the fridge and there was a little girl standing there. Um, and he has a well-known drawing that he drew in detail of what Sally looks like. And it got to the point through the years again when they lived here that it was more and more oppressive um, to where Tony was seriously considering killing his wife. Um, and it got so bad that he was planning it out, plotting it, and was planning to do it. And that's when they decided we gotta get the hell out of here. Um, and they moved. They actually still live in town, probably just a few blocks over, I think two, three blocks over from here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's crazy that it's they're insane. so close. Yeah. And still. And they will tell you, um, if you talk to them, they'll tell you they, they can tell when people are here because they have stuff continuing to happen to them at their house also. Really? Um, so once the Pickmans left, the current owner opened it up to paranormal investigations. They've got, you know, ghost hunting groups that are in here every weekend and have been for 30, 40 years. So in between when the doctor lived here and when the Pickmans lived here, the, the house changed hands several times. There's a bunch of urban legends about it. An old lady who was into satanic magic was doing rituals in the basement. There was a rumor that two teenagers that lived here were doing rituals down in the basement. Um, I mean, who, who knows if either of those stories are true or what, what the truth is, but um, either way, there is some there's something here. There's something dark in this house, yeah. And so if it's not, oh yeah, let's talk about Sally not happening too. Yeah. So what we found out through our research over the years is that this little girl named Sally, the story about her dying in the house, the doctor doing the surgery, was made up. And it was made up by a former mayor trying to boost tourism in the town. Um, city of Atchison loves being known as the most haunted town in America. And so they're very much supportive of that and they have been for a long time. Um, what we believe happened in this house, I, I don't think there's a little girl here. Um, what I think happened is either those rituals in the past, those stories are true and it brought something in or through the years as people have come in and done investigations and have done weird things in here, that that has brought something evil into the house. Because, yeah, if it's not a little girl, but people are seeing a little girl. Yeah. So what we found is uh, we, we've had experiences with a little girl. We've had toys move. Um, we've heard a little girl voice say, come and play with me. Lot, lots of things around a child. But there's no child in this house. What it is is this dark entity trying to portray itself as a child so that it brings you in, brings you closer, makes you comfortable and then it can attack you. Hmm. And we were talking, right before we started this interview, we were talking about how we wanted to get a psychic or a medium out tonight, and you said that nobody in the state will even come yeah, out. Yeah, we, we've got a fairly well-known psychic that works with our team, and she refuses to come here. Um, sometimes we'll have her just do remote viewings from, from home. And she refuses to do that here for Sally House either because she just doesn't, she doesn't even want to tap into that energy. And there are no psychics in the state really. There, think, there right? are no psychics anywhere in this area that I know of that would be willing to come and be at the Sally House. <laughs> that's that's yeah. spooky old man. Yeah. Wow. If the psychics won't come, you know something's not right. Yeah, right. <laughs> would you walk in there with us? and show us uh, 
like a couple places where stuff happened to you? Uh, if we're quick. Yeah. I, I think she's already pissed. I think yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, true. We, we can go real fast. Yeah. I just want to hear yeah. from you, like, where stuff happened yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be, you don't have to if you don't. No. It's, you I, really don't want to. As long as it's quick. I haven't been in here in a year. So, like, I guess just the main things that have happened to you in here? Um, there, there's really not a space in this house where you haven't had stuff happen. Um, the basement's kind of one of those spots that's well known. There's a black circle, and that's where they claim that the rituals happen. One of the urban legends is that somebody drew a pentagram on there and they keep trying to cover it up. They try to paint over it, turpentine, all that stuff, and it just keeps showing back up. Hmm. Again, I think it's just an urban legend. I don't think it's true. Um, never had anything happen in the basement other than one time I was down there and I heard footsteps up here and we caught it on camera. So hmm. as, as soon as I got this really eerie, creepy feeling, and I was coming up, I was down there probably 45 minutes by myself, nothing happened. I step on the stairs, I get maybe one or two steps up and then I hear something step on the stairs behind me and then I hear it following me up and so I start running. <laughs> I started running and I hear it running up behind me and I came running out through here into the living room yelling for my buddies who are all upstairs and when you go back and listen to the recording you can hear the when I'm on the carpet, you can hear the footsteps on the linoleum oh, in the kitchen man. following right behind me. Um, yeah, so other than that, nothing's really happened in the basement. One morning we were here and we were actually doing a Facebook Live, so you can pull that up and see it, and just kind of talking about how the night before went. And you hear something jump off of the counter, boom! onto the floor in the kitchen <laughs> like oh, super loud man um almost like somebody would have been standing on it and then jumped off so we heard, we heard some yeah we heard some movement in the right, kitchen you guys went outside we're like twice mm -hmm. and then that's where i didn't feel well right yeah. away yeah you know you get lots of i just got huge yeah look right. you see my hair here right. standing up right she really doesn't like that i'm here um down here you get footsteps you'll hear lots of voices there's times when we've heard somebody yelling from upstairs like yelling to us telling us to come up oh. um, you'll have your equipment going off down here you'll see shadow figures if you're outside the house we've seen people standing in the window you'll see them walking back and forth we've had this radio in here turn on by itself um, when we walked in, what? That, like when we walked in, that radio no was on. Way. Yeah. It was on when we were here. We got here. Um, so I'll tell you. No. So I, well, I told. Uh, I think I told Jeff outside. The very first time we came here to investigate, we were brand new. It was just some buddies having a good time. You know, we'd go places, we'd cut up, crack jokes, and have fun. Um, the minute we came into this house, we were fighting, arguing, just, just nitpicking on each other, angry. And the minute we leave the house, you just felt like this, just this huge weight off your shoulders. You feel almost like this happy high. And as soon as you come back in, it's the same thing. Angry, angry, angry. Well, we ended up leaving. I don't even know why. We left to go get snacks or drinks or something. And uh, we started driving around. We're like, hey, we're in Atchison. There's this cool cemetery. Let's go. Yeah. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Serve a knock. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Um, we're like, hey, this, there's this cool scent. Let's go check the center. So we drive the center. And then we're like, hey, no, let's go check this out. So we drive there. And say, let's go check this out. So we drive. We spent two hours driving around until we finally went, whoa, 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 whoa. We paid money. We're here to investigate Sally House. And like unconsciously, we're trying to find other things to do so we didn't have to come back here because it's just. It's just, it's, it's a lot. What's yeah. the most active part of the house in your opinion? Okay. So, so, um, this place is different. This is going to be different than anywhere else you go. You are not going to get a ton of ghost activity, right? 
you're going to McIntyre tomorrow. You go to Mac, you're gonna get ghost stuff. Voices, footsteps, thing would move, shut, thing. You get a lot of that ghost stuff. You don't have that here. What you have here is more psychological, emotional. Um, I've seen people that are in a great mood all of a sudden just tears streaming, bawling, crying because it attacks you. And it always attacks who it thinks is the weakest member in the group. Um, that being said, I will tell you how you can get some of that stuff. But you'll probably have better luck if you don't do regular ghost hunting, but you call this thing out. Okay. I know you're not a ghost. I know what you are. I know, just, I know, I know, I know, and call it out and call it what it is. And it pisses it off. And then, okay, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> and then it pisses you off. It pisses it off and it will, it'll be more outward. Um, one night we were investigating and same thing happened. I had my daughter, my oldest daughter investigates with us and she was here and she, we usually set up cameras and we have kind of a nerve center on this table and run cameras through the house. And she was sitting here, she was totally fine. All of a sudden she started bawling. That's happened dozens of times that we've investigated. And I came down, you know, I checked on her, I made her leave. The minute she stepped out of the house, she's feeling totally fine and back to normal. Later that night, we're trying to decide, you know, do we sleep here or do we leave? And I made the comment, you know, this, th we're not getting ghost stuff. It's playing these games, these emotional, psychological games with us again. And as a parent, I, I don't feel like it would be responsible of me to allow my daughter to sleep here and stay the night here. So we need to go. Immediately after that happened, we started having ghost stuff. We hear somebody walk up the stairs. We hear somebody talking in the hall. We hear knocking on the wall. We hear it was trying to perform so that we would stay here that night and that it could continue to, you know, pick on us. Wow. Yeah. So it's everywhere in the house, really. So it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Biggest hotspots are upstairs. Um, if you're down here, you'll get stuff from upstairs, but upstairs is where you really get good stuff everything from uh, people have been pushed down the stairs people have been picked up and slammed against the wall to um have you guys been up there yet mm -mm. Me and Mary oh shit okay the the kids room toys will move around voices shadows um doors will slam shut um we we had one of my investigators was sitting on the kid's bed and you could physically see him sitting straight totally fine and over the course of about 30 minutes what? you can see him kind of start to slump over and slump over and then all of a sudden he's laying mm -hmm. down and he says man i really don't feel good well what's wrong with you i don't know i don't know i'm told i just oh i feel like i'm gonna puke i just feel terrible i feel awful and then we had some stuff happen we made him leave the house again the minute he left the house he felt totally fine and uh, we got stuff. We got a ball to move in the kids' room. We caught that little girl's voice saying, come and play with me. <laughs> um, it, it was like draining his energy so it could do things. What do you think is the scariest thing that's ever happened to you or anybody even you know in here? Scare? Um, the two scariest thing. Was that you? What? Did you not hear that voice? I, I was like, mm -hmm. I was just concentrating on something. Yeah. You might want to go back and listen. Okay. Did you hear that? Because it came right by you. You heard it? I've actually, I mean, is there anything like touching your leg? Yeah, she had something like she was, had touched her leg. Did you get touched? I've been scratched. I've had a, like a, like a backward seven scratched on my back. Oh, so right. Sitting in the chair up in the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. You'll get scratched, you'll get touched. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I keep thinking, been doing I keep looking at my leg because I'm like, what in the heck? I thought maybe I was like, there was a strain uh, yeah. on the couch or. Really? It's well, you of... moved or adjusted or something or kind of leaned yeah. and then I heard a mmm. Oh, mm. uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay, so scariest, scariest yeah. things. <laughs> I'll give you two examples. They're kind of the same, but we we're doing what's called an Estes session. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that tonight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave you my holy water. Right. Um, so we we're doing an Estes session. We we're doing a double. So we had one person in the kids' room, one person in the master bedroom, and then we were down here asking questions. So Ed, one of the guys I investigate with, it started calling to Ed. Ed, where's Ed? Bring Ed up. 
Ed started going upstairs. They had no clue. These two people, you're blindfolded and you can't hear anything but the spirit box. As soon as Ed started coming up the stairs, they go, oh, here he's coming. <laughs> like Ed's coming up, Ed's coming up. Later in that night is when we started getting responses through the Estes um, about we're family, we're coming home with you, I'm gonna ride the back of your car, I'm out front waiting for you, let's go, we're going to be together. Um, and and I, can, I can tell you this story, but to experience it was something different because it wasn't just the words, it was the feeling. Mm -hmm. It felt... It felt scary. It felt intense. It felt threatening. Um, we repeatedly said, no, you're not. That's not okay. You're not coming with us. And then it started getting threatening. Yes, I am. I'll go after your family. Um, something about uh, replacing your family. I can't remember what the wording was, but it was alluding to like, I'm going to replace your family. We're going to be together. And, oh. and this wasn't coming from one person. This was coming from both. Oh. And you're getting different, you know, sentences out of both of the people. We always talk about how you can't convey that that feel yeah. over the camera. No, no. That's what people don't get until you're in it. No, mm -hmm. and that's the worst part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's, the worst part. I, I can tell you ghost stories until yeah. I'm blue in the face, but to be there, to experience it, to... Yeah. Okay, I just got... Uh-huh. Like when you did your thing, I just yeah. felt something like go through here. Just eerie feelings. That, that was probably that was probably the scariest because it was personal. It was directed straight at us. Mm -hmm. It was very intelligent. It wasn't like I ask a question. Well, I think it said this. It was direct, immediate, like real time conversation that we had with this thing. Wow. I'll tell you this too. Since then, that was the last time we ever came. After that, we said that's got to be it. That was around. September, October, two years ago, that following January, we're at McIntyre doing Estes and Sally showed up. Started to say, where have you guys been? I miss you. We need to be together. We're family. Why don't you love me? And we went through 20, 30 minutes of like, what is happening? Who is this person? Until we finally got it to say, it's Sally. And it flat out told us it's Sally and we had to my partner ended up in tears. Again, it's the feelings associated with it. My partner ended up in tears and we had to shut that down. And that wasn't the only time. She has shown up four or five times, different places. She showed up in Nebraska. She showed up in Rhode Island at the Conjuring House. Sally showed up. We did it with, um, my partner Shannon was doing Estes. Sally showed up through Estes and we thought, okay, maybe that's just Shannon. It was really, Sally's coming all the way to Conjuring. So we had a local guy that was with us, paranormal investigator. We stuck him under doing Estes and Sally came through again or still. Um, so she has followed us everywhere. I mean, I'd say probably every three, four months she shows up at an investigation now. And to clarify, Sally is not the little girl. Sally's not the little girl. We refer to the demon, if you will. We refer to it as Sally, just as a reference, a name reference. So you feel it's a demon though? I, I've been everywhere. Yeah. This is the only place, um, this is the only place I've ever been in, you know, two, three hundred investigations. I feel confident saying this, this is evil. There's an evil in this house. No. Oh shit. Yeah, I think we're good, man. Yeah. That was, you want to get out of here? Yes, I do. <laughs> So, so one time we're here, we're filming a documentary about Sally House, and we left one investigator and the director upstairs in the kids' room while he investigated she was filming. The rest of us left and we went to go get food or something to leave them alone. They were using a spirit box, an SB7, which shuffles through the radio stations and kind of makes that ch -ch 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 sound. And through the spirit box, a little child said, Mommy? And the director immediately started bawling, going, I'm here, baby, I'm here, I'm here. And the investigator was like, well, what the hell is going on? So he just kept going. He didn't know what to do. He asked questions. Yeah, how old are you? The kid said eight, um, you know, a couple others. And she just got progressively more emotional and, and losing it. So he made her leave the house. About that time, we pull back up and see her bawling. I walk up to her, I'm like, what? What is going on? What's wrong? She said, I have never 
told anybody this, but I had a son who was kidnapped and murdered when he was eight years old, and that was his voice. It took probably a solid 45 minutes for us to convince her, your, your son's not here hanging out at the Sally house. That's this evil entity trying to bait you and lure you in and, and get you vulnerable. A demon. A demon. Or it was this demon. Call it that. Yep. That is so crazy, yeah. man. That it's willing yeah. to. It's very manipulative energy. Super manipulative. Yep. Yeah. I'm excited, though. Yeah, be careful. And if you're ever feeling off, just come out. Take it. Just take it. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Take a break. Yeah. Just call it. Come out. Sit outside. Five, ten minutes. And That's really right. Interesting, though, that it would show up at. But, McIntyre, and then also yeah. we're at way, I mean, out of state. Conjuring House. Yeah, Conjuring clear on the East Coast. He's hosting an event out there. Like yeah. Way mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. But what do you think about that? I mean, what, how? Uh, like, she, she knows. She knows. Kind of I don't know. You know what I mean? Or what? I know, that's a good question. I don't know. When we first started, I, I, think, I think spirits can come and go. I don't think they're stuck. When we first started us, we had a female, an older female that followed us around. And we caught her voice, same voice, on EVPs, several bunch of different places we went. But it wasn't malevolent, it wasn't yeah. evil, it was just, she'd pop in and say hi. You know, we had we had this dude named Steven, it was a big joke because he'd go, we, the first, first time we met him we were at an old, um, it's a winery now in Liberty, Missouri and used to be, there's four buildings. One was an orphanage, one was a hospital. Is that the Belvoir? Belvoir. Yep. Yeah, 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 I yeah, told yeah, him yeah. I wanted to film oh, there. Yeah, I yeah. called her, yeah. Um, yeah, we were at Belvoir and we were, we were sitting in the old the uh, old hospital building. You can go up. Now, I don't know if they still allow you, but they would turn the other eye. Like you go, we'd go in the afternoon and we'd go explore the abandoned buildings. You're not supposed to, but they, if you weren't causing trouble they didn't really care um and we're using a spirit box at sb7 again and we got something talking we're like what is your name and he goes i'm steven bitches <laughs> <laughs> so so it was this joke well steven showed up three or four more times at wow. different places wow. and he would always say i'm steven bitches every <laughs> single time <Wow. laughs> Interesting. So he was he was a fun one. This yeah, is not this is not this is not this always ends badly when she shows up She she showed up in Nebraska We took Shannon we're at this old um, it's an occult museum now But they had an old icebox down on the far side of the building and they had red lights They hung up in there and we stuck Shannon in there to do Estes and shut the door and she said well You guys are gonna be right outside, right? And we went, sure. Yeah, of course we left Went to the other side of the building, we used walkies to, we'd ask our questions and then she heard something, she'd use a walkie to say it. And Sally showed up and it got intense. It got super intense. So we were like, we gotta stop. I don't even know if we, should. now she knows we're here. She showed up, we, we packed everything up. We were planning to drive home, three, four hour drive home um, until we realized our route home drove straight through Atchison. So oh. we were like, nope. <laughs> no, nope, I'd rather just stay here. Let's <laughs> take our chances. <laughs> That's creepy. Yeah, it was super wow. creepy. It was super creepy. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so now that you know the history of the house, you know everything about this haunting, how bad it is, how evil it is. Today, even during the interviews, we've had technological difficulties. We've been setting stuff up in here for a while. We've heard noises. We felt very eerie vibes. Jeff 
has been covered in goosebumps multiple times. You guys know he's got empathetic or empathic qualities to him. But this is the Sally House. This is one of the most infamous haunted locations in the US, supposedly haunted by this very, very powerful darkness. Now tonight, we're gonna start the investigation with a seance of sorts. So let's head on in. It's very creepy in here. We've got it all set up inside. We're gonna open ourselves to this spirit and see if we can get it to come communicate with us by doing an old school, almost Victorian seance. So yeah, we're about to just hit it and start rolling. Here we are. Hello. Here's Courtney. Hi. This is the seance room. Okay, before we begin, Mary, what are you feeling tonight before we start all this? What are your hopes for the evening? I hope we catch some evidence. I know even when he was going through and telling the stories, I felt something touching my legs. And I kept turning around thinking maybe it was just like a thread coming off the couch. but. Definitely. I haven't felt it now since we've been back tonight, but this afternoon I felt something touching my legs. So it, it's definitely creepy in here. Mm. Jeff, mm -hmm. Papa Spooks, what do you think? Um, well, I saw you touch your legs earlier and I had a lot of, again, energy through my body and my hairs were standing on end and, you know, we were talking about that before. Mm. I think I feel it at the stairway, actually. Uh, when I went over there, and that's what I'm feeling like we need to go eventually up there. But uh, I did have some noises out in the kitchen earlier, and there was something else out there too, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. felt like charged energy again. So this is supposed to be the place. Let's see. Courtney? Y'all haven't gone upstairs, right? I haven't been upstairs. Okay, me no. and Mary went upstairs, and it was very creepy. So I'm excited to go into the children's room and see if anything moves or if we hear anything and the master bedroom. I'm really excited. Personally, oh, yeah. I'm excited to contact something dark. You guys know that I love dark energies. And just like um, Elijah told us earlier, we should call it out. So just a warning to you guys, we are gonna be calling this thing out tonight. I know some people disagree with that method of investigation. We don't ever do that. But if this thing is hurting people, attacking people, driving people to almost commit murder, it's time to call this thing out and see if it's really as powerful as it claims it is. But I'm freaked out. I'm definitely, it's creepy in here. Yeah, and Elijah recommended that we do that. Mm -hmm. He told us that we should do that. this place a lot. He, they won't ever come back. Well, let's, uh, let's start this seance. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna add in here as well, we have two static cameras set up while we do this experiment, one facing the basement where some of the activity has happened, one facing the upstairs on the uh, stairway. So if we hear anything from other parts of the house that aren't this room, it'll be captured on those cameras. Courtney, I'm gonna have you turn on the REM pod. Sure. The same, same light. What was it? Green. 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 Yeah. Oh. On oh, both wow. REM pods, oh, green. Oh, here. <laughs> so, to start the seance, I'm going to turn on these EMF pumps, <coughs> EM pumps. They provide spirits with energy they can draw from to uh, manifest. Oh, this one got a battery in it. Oh. Okay, so that we've got. Out. Yeah, we've got these two EM pumps turned on. Is that anybody or anything in this house? Sally, if that's you, if you're evil, if you're a demon, if you want to hurt people, you like making them sad and cry, come through tonight. Um, you can't use any of these other people as conduits, but if you want to hop into someone's body, I'm open for it, so come on do it tonight. We're going to leave this planchette right here, symbolizing that the portal is open. Now that we've turned these on, 
Let's all hold hands for a second. And I want everybody to close your eyes, listen, if you hear anything pointed out, and I want everybody to stare into the black of your eyes, see if an image comes through, because I had that happen to me the other day, which is kind of weird. And if you see anything or feel anything, just say it. If you're here in the Sally House, we're here to talk to you. Are you here with us? smiling person like really wide smile like across big teeth out smiling or looking at me are you trying to show us something satanic for me the two are colliding across the middle. seeing like some dark clouds, huh. like almost like thunder clouds, or like a storm. Huh. Click. Mm -hmm. I see like a, like a tall, like a raggedy man, toy. I have no idea why. I was just around the raggedy man doll the Holland Museum. There's no upstairs. There is no upstairs. Really? I forgot about that, Courtney. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm seeing, like, just a cross. Like, it's just a cross. Oh, my yes. gosh. Sally! We're not here to mess around tonight. Sally, can you use your voice and talk to us? Why are you showing me this cross? I'm seeing two eyes. Almost like a cat's eyes, randomly. God, this is okay to go. I've got like an animal like, coming out of this hole. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Like I had... Are you trying to scare us with that animal? I have a headache. 
knives. Are you trying to show me a cat? It's a spider. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a spider? I came out of the hole. It's coming out of the hole. Did you hear something? I heard something. Was that it's recording? Yeah. I don't think so. I thought I heard something over here. Yeah, like a... Oh no, just a... You heard a... <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Oh, oh. oh. Be good to tell us about that. <laughs> Interesting. And you're not religious. Yeah. It's coming out of the middle of the hole. I feel almost like a little colder. Do you feel that over here, Mary? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This almost like I'm feeling like something's standing right here. Mm -hmm. Are you to my left? Come up from the basement. Are you the evil old woman? Are you evil? Are you trying to scare us? It's in the staircase. Hmm? It's in the staircase. If that's where it's at. Are you in the staircase? Upstairs? There's a cross right here. No, but upstairs. There's a cross here. Could you give us some sort of sign that you're here with us in our presence? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Knock on something, walk over here, slam a door, turn off the lights. Sit here in the dark for a second and do some EVPs. Sure. With the candles on and stuff? Yeah. Surrounding Courtney right there. Mm -hmm. Oh god. <laughs> I had that. Well, I heard like here. You know what's eerie three? That's the Holy Trinity demons, supposedly. Ooh. Mock people in threes. Okay, that's creepy. Yeah, and that wouldn't make sense as coming from the candles because you can clearly no. see there are five no. candles there well, in the in the frame. Well, They're all around Courtney though. That's really weird. I'm gonna turn on also the 
coffee list right here. What about the K2? Yeah, you can turn that on. Dead. <gasps> dead beckon? Dead. Oh my god, beckon the dead. That's oh, eerie. Dead, like the dead are calling to us now. Wow, I'm just kind of like chills. Mm -hmm. Me too. Really if there's anybody here with us, where are you in the house? Okay. Can you make a noise wherever you are to let us know where you're at? Are you this... here with us right now? Oh. Are you yeah. upstairs? Are you right here? Our prop phone. Oh, look at the, our prop. Our prop. Prop. Fog. Is this a prop? Can you make these lights go off? Can you do more? We. We. Mm. Like who's we? We can't. Okay. If it's thank you. Oh. Not too close. Are there multiple spirits here with us? Is this Sally? Are you a human? I'm sure I am. Are you evil? <gasps> what the hell? Do you want to hurt one of us? Dog. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh man. You really want to hurt us? Do you want to hurt Mary? Do you want to hurt Jeff? That's not good. Why do you want to hurt me? I mean, are you are you a demon? You're not invited into me. Law. The law of God? I've never seen it just do three like that. Mm -hmm. Or is it four? It's three. That's four. We keep four. doing four. One, two, what would three, four, four mean? There's four, four of us. I thought mm -hmm. you meant lights. No. Every time it's done that, it's been doing Hunt. four. Hunt. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hurt Courtney? Keeps growing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why my stomach keeps growing, but then, yeah, I'm hungry, and it just said appetite. This appetite. Ap hunt. hunt appetite. View. This this sight. view sight. This view. This view. Mm. Place. Place. Sight. Place. View. Sight. Place. Where do you want us to look? Oops, this hasn't gone off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Where do you want us to look? Modern. Field. Modern. What? Field. It actually said a place? Modern? Field. Oh. What was that? Well, that was like... That was oh, very loud. That was a loud Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Oh, my gosh. 
Are you out there in the stairs? You can come up. That's where I keep hearing Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apocalypse 2? Are you coming up to talk to us? Castle. It is a house. Are you coming up to talk to us? Are you here? Are you here with us? Jesus, that is insane. Why is it doing that? Can you make one of these lights flicker or go off? Show us that you're here? Do y'all hear like a human? Well, just now it was outside. Once again, are you here? Can you make this device in my hand go off? It did. Again, we didn't finish asking, are you here to hurt Colin? Do you want to hurt Colin? (laughs) (laughs) So you want to hurt me? Do you still want to hurt me? Stairs later tonight. See what's up there. Mm. Are you waiting for us up there? Grind. Brave. Brave. Let's see. Casket. Stairs. Brave. Did it say casket? Yeah. Yes. And grave. Grind. Brave. brave. Casket. Right. We were talking about going upstairs to. I'm gonna send this down. Can you do something for us? History. Once again, where are you in the house? EVP session. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run on this voice recorder. <coughs> it's hard to see. Okay, got the voice recorder set up in the middle of the circle of candles, the Ouija board. Um, why don't we take turns asking questions, Mary? Do you like it that we're here? Funeral. (gasps) Casket history funeral. Was your funeral here? Were you in a casket? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Filter. If you are a demon, why don't you tell us where you live right now? I don't I don't just think my back hurts, I don't feel well. What do you want to even ask me? Why do you like to present yourself as the spirit of a little girl when that's not what you are? Were you murdered? It's hot in here. Mm-hmm. 
What's your favorite part of the house? Upstairs, basement. Basement. Oh my oh, god. god. No god. way. No god. way. That's crazy. What? That's impossible to even fake, too. Oh, oh my god. god. I follow up with a Colin. Let me see Colin. Okay. Do you want us to come to the basement? Intent. Intent. What's your intent? What's your intent once we come? Cake. You want us to bring you cake? What are you going to do to us if we come down to the basement? Why do you like the basement? Why is that the favorite part of the house for you? Lust. Lust. Favorite part of the basement. Crash. Crash. Did someone fall down the stairs? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the woman that the called. Woman. You stay down in the basement because that's where you died? Was it an accident or did somebody push you down the stairs? Bacon. Are you hungry? I feel something in here. Mm -hmm. Our camera's just went completely blurry. Weird. This side of my throat is so sore. Really? Yeah. Look at this thing. Okay, came back in. Yeah. What's gonna happen if we come down to the basement? Because we're gonna come see you. What's going to happen? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah you hear that? Is Sally down in the basement? What's gonna happen if we come down yeah. to the basement violent soon? How are you gonna hurt us? How is it gonna get violent? French. 
Oh. Mm. How am I like getting? How are you gonna hurt like us? Like a bigger guy with yeah. a wrench. Guy, solid wrench. Is the ghost of a man in here with a wrench gonna appear? I was gonna say it said it wanted to hurt Jeff. Guy, solid. You're a, mm -hmm. are you a solid here? guy. Mm -hmm. Hit, hurt him with a wrench down there. Are you over here? No. 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 I was literally about to ask if they could come touch the room pod. But are you saying you're not going to? I asked you to come and touch this light. Can you come and touch this light? It's interesting because you remember he said this thing is psychological torment. Mm -hmm. Right. You ask for this light to go off, it says no, and this light goes off, the completely mm -hmm. different one. Mm -hmm. uh, up. Uh, upstairs. It's the definite light where we're going to go. <laughs> okay, we're going to go somewhere in the house. Can you tell us where we should go? Triangle. Where's the triangle? This might be like a reach, but the upstairs is kind of shaped like a triangle. Like there's rooms like... There's isn't, room isn't there like three one, rooms? And then there's two rooms like this, and it's, yeah. it's shaped kind of like a triangle. Yeah. Interesting. That might be a reach, but like that's mm. interesting. Yeah, we haven't even been up there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really I keep, I keep looking over here and seeing like a light. Head. Oh, Head. That is sure. Mm -hmm. Triangle head. Sure. You want us to head there? Upstairs. I think Shown. So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just keep thinking that I see something. Right. And then you think, you're oh, talking I about much. seeing something. Yeah. And I was too. I was talking about seeing stuff yeah. and shown, like it's yeah. shown us. Yeah. What have you shown us? To me, the basement's creepier, man. I can feel very bad. Did you get on there? No, not yet. But remember he said that there's barely any activity. I know, but I'm just basement. talking about a vibe. Yeah. The basement creeps mm -hmm. me out. There. We have to. You want to go there first? Yeah, I think we should go down. Should we listen to the EVP? Very. Very what? Gag. <laughs> That's kind of. You're gonna make us throw up? You're gonna choke us? What are you gonna do to us? Ring. <gasps> ring, you're, are you gonna ring our necks? How are you gonna ring us? Do you want us to come down to the basement? <gasps> I heard right a noise. Huge knock. I heard a noise from the this. basement area. Uh -huh. Are you right here? to come Does down to the off? basement? Yeah. <sighs> what the heck? Are you gonna meet us in the oh, basement? Like... Is there somebody waiting for us in the basement? I bet they're waiting for me. Are you gonna hurt us when we get down there? Okay, we're gonna come down to the basement. We should do the SLS down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going. All right, we're gonna end the voice recorder session. Review this later because 
Yeah, it's like a 30 minute thing. We'll, we'll use that more though. Yeah. We'll use it more tonight though, but that's too long of a session. I just saw lights. I've, I've, you're saying you see lights? I just saw like, it looked like a laser. I have been seeing that exact, like right there. You've been looking. Something. Mm -hmm. I just saw something there. I've seen a little pointed light like five times there on the wall, not the window. Like on that center part between the two. Do you have any last words while we're here, Sally? What do you think about us being here in your house? Animal. The cat we were seeing? What's your favorite thing to do? Noise. Can you turn on the stereo for us? The music, the TV, the lights? Mike. Mike, 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 Lisa, Mike, 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 to come back to one of my devices. Congruism. It's not making any sense anymore. Vowel. E. A. O. U. I. Sometimes oh, I. I. <laughs> Does your name start with an I? Okay. That is insane. That? I. It's kind of close to I. Oh, the planchette is pointed at the I in Ouija. Really? Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Where's the I at? And it's pointed directly oh at you. Oh my gosh, it is. It's oh, the, the planchette's weird. also pointing at you. Look at uh -huh. O U I A. That's a bunch of hours. Wow, yeah. that's weird. That almost all of them. Do you like when we use the Ouija board? Oh, whoa, 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 Mary. Oh, it went all the way to red. Do you like when we use the Ouija board? Oh, mm. my God. Oh, my God. What is that? Should we do the Ouija session again? You want us to use the Ouija board? What do you mean the eye? Eye. Do you like the eye on the Ouija? Do you want to put the flanchette right up there? Okay, I went all the way around. I swear I just heard something. Oh, 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 oh and, the, and the REM pod. There's, I just okay, heard here, something. Okay, here, look at it. There's something up there. Yeah. And there was. Oh, oh, oh look at both at the same oh, time. Okay. Both. Okay. Both at the same time. Look at this, Mary. Look at the look at the K two as well. Oh my gosh. I'm like totally.
total Look at this all just... happened when we moved it on the eye. That's so bizarre. Oh my god. I heard a, 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 a sound behind me. Why do you like the letter I? Why did you want us to move it to that? Yeah, what's the reason why? I... Do you like it there? I... Why? Can you tell us... Oh. Tell us well, in a word why you like the letter I. It's, is it mean that it's I? You know? Like I? I. It is I. It is I. Oh my gosh, my contact is starting to come out of my eye. Are, Are you, you serious? Kidding? Oh my god. god. Oh my god, it's like about to. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Courtney. Hi. Okay. That was so weird, right when y'all were saying that, my contact just started to like pull out. Oh my gosh. It's like messing up. Why would oh it just- Oh my god, I don't know. Oh. Okay, it's better now. That what was so heck? weird. Were you trying to pull that out of Courtney's eye? That's very it is strange that all that started from just the vowel yeah, one yeah, here. Vowel. Mm -hmm. and then you, you, keep, you gotta keep going with it. Was that you pulling on the contact from Courtney's eye? Is that what you're saying? <gasps> Did you just touch her eyeball? Okay, we're gonna go down to the basement now. Can you give us one more message before we go? You can't scare us. Hurt us? Is that what you're saying? Two. Two, okay. Healer. Healer. Oh, the doctor. Psychic. <gasps> psychic. Healer and psychic. Two. Yeah, two. And it was a hospital. Healer psychic. and psychic. And it was a hospital. So there's healer. healers, doctors. Yeah. Do you want us to bring a psychic in? Is that what you're saying? I wanted to. Details. Give them details. Mm -hmm. Like we'd hire, call them like through Elijah. Three. 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 Okay. We've been seeing okay. The three orbs that were behind me. Mm -hmm. Three orbs. The tri okay, so the, triangle. the three dots. Triangle. That's triangle. Three corners. Mm -hmm. Why the three? Points, brother. Psychic and details. Soul. Three. Console. Oh, console. How many spirits are here? Or three console party with your contact. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different things. I have three tattooed on my arm too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you here? Are you still here? If you are, you like the letter I? On the Ouija board, should I leave it back here? Or should I put it back on the I? Or maybe it was. There's a knot back there. Or was it more Courtney's I? It's obvious, looks like it wants to say something. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Say something. 
What's on your mind? Are you gonna we're gonna close the portal? No, we're gonna leave no. this open. What are you thinking of? Doesn't it feel a little bit more quiet? Quiet here? Yeah. yeah. I mean just a little lighter. Yeah, I think it's like it's tired of communicating with us right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we come down to the basement? Is that what you're saying? <gasps> Are you waiting for us in the basement? I've never seen that thing do that. Have you? Coming downstairs. It's like an ambulance. Do you want us to come to the basement? Is that what you're saying to me? I think it's made itself clear. Look at that. All the way to the top. You want us to come to the basement? That went all the way to red. Mm -hmm. You want us to come to the basement? I think, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think That's we can't keep asking, you know? Yeah, okay, it's like, right. it's like oh, 30 times. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna leave this Ouija session here on the table. Let's move this back to I. Mm -hmm. um, Let's go down to the basement, I guess. None of us have been down there yet. The creepiest part of the house to me, for sure. Okay, what do you want to do the SLS? Yes. Down there is what you're thinking? Stand. Stand. Oh, stand. stand. Right when we all stood yeah. up. Soup, stand, once. Once. Stand once. That's bizarre. The moment yeah. we stand wanna, up. Yeah. That's weird. Do you want to turn this? Even, even while we're just going down to the basement, oh, all the way. these things keep, they're both just going off. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Jeff's got the SLS right here. Oh, he's just turning it on. Courtney's over here. The REM pod. She's got the REM the pod and the spirit box. Mary. You've Rem just got a measly little rim pod. <laughs> rim pod number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Welcome to hell. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, Courtney, look at me. Look at me. Here we go. Look like really scared, like, <gasps> like, even more frightened. <gasps> I don't one know more time. How. One more time. Go. <gasps> <gasps> He still can't do little thoughts. I can't, I can't act at all. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay. okay, so none of us have been in the basement yet. It is very, very creepy now. Oh, the camera's off. So, no, probably just. That's, uh, Here's our static camera that we just set up. <coughs> um, you walk down first. This is creepy. Oh. oh, look at this. 
Super creepy. What is like some of the shit that's yeah, back no, here? It's like, yeah. it's like old cans that are like 20 years old. It smells moldy. Moldy and moldy. Well, remember in the interview, he was saying that this is the burned pentagram that they think? Where? Right here that you're standing oh. at. He said somebody burned this like pentagram into the floor. Fuck. It definitely smells like mold in here. Yeah, this is like You can like see it. Are you down here? Anybody? Let's set the REM pods up, everybody. Oh god, look at this. Mm. Can, can I see? shoot? So this is where they think or this is where the old woman died. The evil one. Mm -hmm. He's ready to go lights out. Mm -hmm. Oh! What? Jesus! Oh God! Oh. So we're in the basement now. We're gonna turn the lights off. Oh, oh right behind God. you! The moment we turn the lights off. Is there somebody down here with us? I'm having a hard time breathing down here. I'm hearing something coming from in there. Where are you down here? You wanted us to come down here. We're here. Can you do something? Ow! Oh, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> it's not hurt you, see? Okay, well, we're standing on the pentagram. The old woman is here, or Sally. Get out here, because we're not afraid of you and you can't scare us. What's your name? Evil. Why are you still in this house? Yeah. Oh. Run. Do you get mad when people come here? Is there a demon here? You guys stay still. Can whoever's here, can you either hold Collins? Hand or Mary's shoulder. Show yourself here on this device. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, I see you. What kind of a spirit is here? I feel like I've heard the word evil like yeah. many times. Yeah. Like evil, evil. Oh, Sally, are you evil? Uh, mm -hmm. Take a walk. What am I standing on? Shadow. Shadow. Why don't we do the SLS upstairs where we have more room? Because it's okay. kind of really yeah. tight down here. Yeah. We can just do that go upstairs. It's just like, just yeah, you guys want to just go upstairs? Sure. Yeah. It's kind of hard to breathe down here. Come down. Were you making noises? Can you get on the floor? Oh, it's trying. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. 
Yeah, get down. Come down on the floor. Where is this? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, it's on the couch. It got on the couch. Come on, there's a figure. Okay. Okay. Can you make a noise over in that area? trying to interact and go grab a K2 meter or something and go over by that? It's staying a long time. It's getting down on the couch. Okay, Colin's coming over. Sit down. Can you go over and sit on Colin? Okay. What, oh, oh, Colin. There's Colin. Okay, see? Colin, is your right hand. Hold your right hand up in the air. There you go. Can you grab Colin's hand? Okay, can you go get over on Colin? Colin, do you feel it's anything? Yeah, you. it's touching you. We're on my right arm. Yeah. Um, Almost like your right arm and leg. Yeah, down below on your right leg. It's like it's kicking your right leg almost, isn't it? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Like that. See that? God, it's staying there a long time. How about a, How about making that meter? Colin, hold your right hand up with the meter. Can you touch that meter? Make the light go off. I'd put your right out, arm straight out. The rim pod. You could set over there. Oh, that was too light. Maybe turn I on. I started f***ing off from over here. Maybe I just turn on and set it down on the right on the table. Okay, can you make any of those lights go off over there? Colin, you don't need to ask because it, oh, it's gone. Are you right here? It's gone now. Yeah, it's gone. I feel like there's something upstairs. Oh, it's gone here now. Do you want to go up? Yeah, let's go upstairs. We haven't even been up there yet. It's kind of like that EM pump. This says stab something. Look at that. Stab, oh, pencil, stab something, it says. Okay, you guys want to go upstairs? Yes. Okay, everybody, so we're going to head upstairs to the um, upstairs. We're going to head up the stairs to the upstairs now. I haven't been up there. Jeff hasn't been up there. But you said it's shaped kind of like a triangle. Yeah, it's really creepy. And this is where the thing has been kind of telling us all night that it is. So, you ready? I'm ready. You ready, Mary? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Freddy, you ready? Ready, Freddy. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's go. Come on, team. <laughs> team Scooby. Team, team. team Scooby. Okay, here we go. This is the deal. These are such chest out. Oh, shit. Oh, man. You want to grab that? Phone? No. <laughs> I got my hand. Just grab it later. You see what I mean? How it's like the room for a triangle? Mm -hmm. Well, there's straight up a triangle right here in this room. Yeah. Look at, you see that? There's oh, actually a triangle here. That's weird. Upstairs. How often do you see a triangle in a house? No, that's... Like there? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's a literal triangle. What is this, the guest room? No, this is, this the, is master. the master. Yeah, this is the master. Do you want to... So this is the corner right here. This is the guest room. Which they said not a lot of paranormal activity. What the hell? That's creepy. What is that? Well, you guys mm -hmm. want to go to the kids' room? Yeah. Oh god. Let's see. Oh, 
was just a vacuum, but just <laughs> 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 no, that was a scary look on yeah, your face. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Right. Right. Was, <laughs> that was a real fright. <laughs> look at we were talking about. Look at how terrified this little baby doll looks. She looks, yeah, so she looks she scared looks for her life. So sad. Oh, and here's the raggedy hands mm -hmm. that. Also, mm -hmm. take a look at this one. Creepy looking. Ugh, what the hell's up with its forehead? <laughs> and this one also looks in a gaze. Almost like they're comatose. Exact same time. Let me do that. Do that one more time. The top. What the hell? That is trippy. Yeah. He did it again. Did you like that? Try again from the top. From the top? Yeah, go down. Huh. That is very, very bizarre, isn't that? That's so strange. Weird. So what's our goal here? Let's do the Estes method. Okay. Raggedy. Okay, Courtney's grabbing the Raggedy Ann dolls, like the spirit said. The, um... They said that if you set them up... Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, right when you set it down, there's a lot of new magic. Oh my god. For this experiment, I'm going to do the Estes method. You guys are going to ask questions. I'm going to turn this REM pod on as well. Oi. Oi. Like you're when you burp. There's a whole eye. <laughs> a lie. Like in Greece. Mm -hmm. Was that slumped over like that? No. Poltergeist. Poltergeist, right when I said that. You know what? I can't see Raggedy Ann. You know, Rolled light. mop. Mary, okay, it's on. Her hair's is kind of mop. Is it on light vision or not? I don't know. Okay, so just to give some context, this Raggedy Ann was slumped over like this just now. And Courtney had set it upright, and then it said poltergeist right when I mentioned that, so. We're gonna do an Estes method now. As you guys know, the Estes method is when you sensory deprivate yourself. I'm gonna close my eyes, can't see anything anyways because we're in the dark, but then I'm putting on these noise canceling headphones so I can't hear the questions that are being asked. To anybody here in the Sally house, Okay, I'm gonna start guys, so start whenever. Anybody who's in here, you're welcome to speak to me, speak to us. Were you in the basement with us? Previous. All the way. I just heard something say, bitch. Oh. You can ask for me though. I would. Yes. Mama? No. It's that lady said she heard mama. Right. Are you pretending to be a child to get us to talk to you? If you are a demon, where are you right now? 
sacrifice. You know, I had that blindfold too downstairs. Mm. Do you think we need that? It's pretty dark in here. Well, I mean, for him. Mm-hmm. What's your name? It could really help us. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should go you get it. It could really help us, right? When you said that. Maybe I should go get that. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, I'm just going to be tapping. Call him. What? Dad, Dad said that he had that blindfold that he was in, right. wondering if he should get it, and then you said it would really help us. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh. So we're gonna go. Okay. That was and that was the clearest one too. Wow, that's weird. We're recording just then, but it just said hell. It literally went hell. Yeah, and I'm really creepy. <laughs> That was creepy. So it's kind of interesting that right when I asked that, you said that. Mm-hmm. That could really help us. Yeah. Okay, so the ovulus, we just missed it, but it said hell randomly when no one was saying anything. But we've got this nice fitted blindfold now that I'm about to wear. Looks like a bra. <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> hell? The most intense blindfold yeah, I've ever seen. Nice it looks like a fly. But it's got, <laughs> it's got a nose, you know, so your nose is crunched. Yeah, it's great, honestly. Yeah, it's, a, it's a better one. Shit, I'm gonna have so to Jesus use this later. It looks like an alien. Mm-hmm. Take me to your I know, that wasn't very funny. Okay, I'm gonna put these back on. Okay, I'm going in. I heard pizza. <laughs> Ooh. We are. What's your name? Sally. I heard Sally. No. I just heard Sally on this thing. And there's literally like, Sally. I it wasn't a woman's yeah. voice, but it was literally Sally. That's weird. Here. How old are you? Great. Been here a while. Almost like been here a while. (laughs) Did someone just a loud voice? Did something just you didn't? No. I'm hearing some whispering out here in the hall. Something just in my outside of the headphones just was like <gasps> I thought this thing did the another like oh. oh. You guys didn't hear anything? No. It was like it literally only on this side over the frequencies was like oh. Oh. Okay, anyways. That was creepy that I heard Sally too. Like very Okay. So again, if you're a demon, where do you live right now? I feel something over here to my this this left. Does that mean that you're living right there right now? If you're the demon, is that you're living on Colin's shoulder? Dead things. I'll take that as an answer. Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Okay, Courtney. We are here to talk with you. My name's Courtney. Somebody. Somebody wants. What do you want? He's here. I heard he's here. In a woman's voice. He's here. God died. God died. Ooh, I have chills over here. Cry. You said you that yeah, fell over. That just fell yeah. over. Okay. Oh my god. You said you. Oh, yeah, that fell over. That just fell yeah. over. Okay. Oh my god. You said you wanted to hurt us downstairs. What do you want to do to us? I think this fell right over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is weird. My dolls. My <gasps> dolls. Problem. 
mean? The dolls! The dolls! Oh. Another man. The dolls. And I'm not even f***ing with you. The dolls. Oh my god. Did you just knock your dolls over? Try to upright them again, Courtney. And get them planted nicely. Can try. Can try to make them fall over. Uh -huh. Can. Did you just make these dolls fall over? Could you do it again? Lean down. It leaned down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stained. Okay, Contact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back again. If you're actually a but, demon, let me speak. If you're a demon, where are you right demon. now? Oh, oh my god. Okay, again. He where, got you. Okay, let me speak. You're being rude. Where are you right we now in this room? Leave. Okay, but where are you in this room? Mm hmm. Where are you in this room? Help my son. He's been, aren't you been on his shoulder? Priest. Okay, I'm going to move on. Courtney, I'll let you ask him. We know that you aren't a child. Why do you like to pretend that you are? Who are you? Help me. Okay, two years gone off. Janie. I heard Janie. Really? Two and a half. Round or ground, ground round. I'll tell you. Do you battle Janie? I miss you. I miss. Because Janie is my guardian angel. That's my sister who's passed away. Are you mocking her? Do you see her in the same place? I'm stuck. Okay, if you're stuck, is Janie in that same place as you? What is that place? Miss Christmas soup. <laughs> Almost miss Christmas soup. Isn't that weird when Harry and Jeannie, mm -hmm. they made that big fish chowder 16. for Christmas. That was a big deal. Mm -hmm. That's kind of interesting. And remember how he said that the, oh, ghost, three. the ghost will like oh, connect yeah. to right. things that mean Please something knock. to you. Please knock. Exactly. They've got, they've got her. Okay, are you talking yet about Janie? I don't believe you because I'm in hell. No, in hell, she's not. I know she's not. Oh, over three frequencies. Did it, man? You're masquerading. Give up. 2000. You're trying? 2003, 2003 or 4 almost. We know that you're trying to mess with us. And then I heard a laugh. <laughs> Jane, like, <laughs> had cancer. That was a girl's laugh. 3, 2004. She had cancer then? I'm laughing. Oh. It's kind of weird. Give me chills. Now what? Oh, he's dead. Hmm. Toss. Who is dead? Who is dead? Snake takes him. Detected. Why don't you just leave? Leave this house. The doll. Was the doll yours? You attached. Yes. 
Mom. Mother's going. Oh, uh, die soon. That's what I heard. Die soon. Mother's going to die. <sighs> Another laugh, too. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's going to die soon? What do you mean? Again, I think you're- Mom, again. Mom. I think you're just trying to yeah. scare us and you That's... just need to move on. Cause it's not even funny. Definitely is playing with us. This is weird. Dumb thing. Remember? Oh my God, Psychological. I have full chills. It Don't is. play music. Psychological. Yeah, it's like it is. To disturb it's like us. What? Moms. It is. It's like the worst way Jamie. that you can possibly mess with someone. Right. So you're mean. Not leaving. Yeah. Yeah, we know you're not leaving. You're stuck here. Ever. <laughs> what happened to you that made you such a bitter entity? Answer her. Are you scared to answer me? Grandpa's. Bringing grandpa's. Bringing up all these. Seriously. Look at that. Both You're my grandpa's just failed. Died. Right. You're just being a bully. Heart. My grandpa had a heart attack. Oh my god. They're below. Oh. Occupied. This is tough because, you know, we're He's really, literally said he's, something about all of us. Yeah. yeah. Every one of us. Yeah. He said it's, something it's that weird. really, like, affects On the yeah. mother. Haha. <laughs> like that. Yeah. It's like, oh, like, yeah. I keep saying that. About <laughs> you. He said something about He said something about me and you. He said something about all of us that really, like, mm -hmm. Bothered yet? Oh, my God. Oh, I have oh. Oh. like that. Oh that is oh giving me creeps to hear that. I don't know if that's gosh. relevant. But... Oh I have full body wow. chills. Oh. Uh, you are coming mean, soon. You are mean spirited. You can't hurt us. Bad. You can no. say whatever you want to, but you can't get to us. No. Kill them. Yeah. No. You can't. You're not in our world. Cemetery, cemetery. You don't have power over us. No. Born. You are you are an evil entity for sure. So again, Courtney Sub asked you, four. why are you such an evil entity? What happened to you? Continue. No, we're going to ask you that question. What happened Smoking. to you? Smoking. What did you smoke? I'll play your game. Plan your funeral. Oh, my God. <laughs> this don't feel very comfortable. This is a weird session. Soul's oh, gone. Yeah. It's, it's like it's... It's trying its hardest Weird. to make us the most mad. Yes. A long time. Strange. Plan your funerals. Oh. Your grandpa's. I mean, your Janie. mom's gonna die, yeah. Janie. Like. What the hell? Seriously. Sandy. Females. My aunt Sandy was just diagnosed really? with breast cancer. Barry. No. Seriously. Yeah, if it's just gonna bully us, like. I was born there. Where? Try to just answer one question straight. Where were you born? <laughs> Joking. Yeah. You don't scare one, us. One twenty. We actually are trying to help you. Sixty-three. Were you sixty-three? Mommy hurt me. 
Is that like, why you're so My weird? knee hurt me. Hmm. Yeah, but what do you believe? I don't know yeah. how you handle this. Yeah, because it's like it says one thing and then... Is, is that why you're so bitter towards everyone that comes here? Because Stairs. Seven, an army. What about the stairs? Broke them. You broke the stairs? What do you mean? Yes. Maybe broke a person. Mm -hmm. Oh, the stairs. Mm -hmm. the old Clock. Did they run out of time? You're it. Tag. Such a dark evil. No, no. it is really. Starve yourself. Oh, <laughs> you are definitely. You a are. Evil. Yeah. Seven. You know the seven is not a. Seven Yourself. Hmm? Another demon. I keep hearing that too. Uh, you know, I know. Kyle doesn't believe. Die that. for. Die for it. There's definitely. There is something. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a dark. Who are you? What is your name? You're not going. Can you tell us who you are? Why are you afraid to reveal your true identity? Why do you like to present I heard yourself a as shh, like that? Like oh, shh. Oh. And, uh, yeah, you remember peasants. He, maybe he said we had to call out the colonists peasants. Let's mm -hmm. call them out. Drains we, you. We know who you are. No, you're, you're not draining me. I mean, we know that you're here. My house. Yeah. Yeah, but we can be here. We're human and you're not. Tomorrow. Get. This is not your house. You may live here, you may be trapped here, but this isn't I'll yours. I'll be. I can hear the voice. Watching. Like that too. Watching. Ugh. Oh, I'm getting this is kind of really freaking me out. Some of the yeah, this, this whole session is like I've never seen. And I feel like there's something. It's trying here. to like bring out emotions in us. And also, uh -huh. I'm, I'm kind of closing my eyes this whole time. I almost feel like a, a, a somebody standing in the doorway. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's relevant, but I feel like there's somebody. There, like just sitting there watching us. Mm. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Pass. Trouble. It's a mess. It's weird how none of the devices have gone off at all. True. Right. Like, you are loved. Oh, no, oh. you're being loved. Okay. Come here. Are you talking to someone else in the other realm, maybe? Are you talking to somebody? Boys. Who are the boys? Same. I can make it better. Okay. You're, I think he's talking to someone besides us. <sighs> he's trying to pretend oh, like he can make it better. I found something right here. Christ. I heard Palm and Christ. Someone took. It's almost like I don't even know what to say. No, I don't. No, no, Your just house. Bullying us. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> What can we do? I'll be there. We want to help you in any way, but we don't know. You're not making this very easy for us. I hate. I hate. Yeah. You're I, full I, of hate. You know, a demon is a lost soul. It's just like lost yeah. according to Go early. my studies you know, mm -hmm. with the Hindu. Shame. Yeah. And they're just like not recoverable. Yeah. So it's not like we can help. Exactly. Die. 
No. And they're trapped here. Did you die too soon and you're trapped? Your family. God, everything is threatening. Yes. You know, you don't really have any power. There's higher spirits that protect us, including Janie and Courtney's grandpa's. Harris County? Huh. Not Texas. Oh, that's uh, that's Houston. Houston, yeah. Okay, because so your grandpa lived My there. grandpa lived in Harris County. In Harris County. I know where. Oh. Oh, my God. Spirits, I see spirits. Oh. Yeah, and, and my... Hey there. <sighs> the train I had. You know. They live in the same room. Like, Again, like you room. know. Yeah. Lives with them in that same exactly. room. Exactly. Oh, Janie. Exactly. They're, you know, so it's like. Stick with it. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's like he's talking to somebody else. Yeah. That's protecting right? us. Exactly. You know what I mean? Seriously. Like your grandpa might be mm-hmm. there. Or Janie or whatever. Right. Mary's dad. The head of the. Who are you talking to? A girl. <sighs> What's her name then? Esther. 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 Houston. I just heard Houston. A girl in Houston. Bismarck. What the fuck? Bismarck. Houston. Bismarck. North Dakota. A can. A canvas. What are we supposed to be trusting here? Yeah, it's like. Now I know. Fuckers. Oh. Oh. Fuckers. It's almost like it's almost like it's dorks. Like, it's like a oh entity that is like switching between good and bad. Like yeah. It yeah. Was, it's like yeah. it's it really pissed itself. off, and then I'll be like, that's, "Your love." That's the way. Yeah, that's, that's the, way. the way. I'm getting to you. Oh god. I'm getting to you. It's and that's psychological yeah, torment yeah, to be like nice is. and then Call rude again. Lynn. Right. Oh. What do you want from me? We want to help. How do? Other room. Other room. Well, 60 I years. I, I, you've been here 60 years? I don't think you can be Too helped. long. You can't be helped, and that's why you're angry. But you did. You must have done a lot of bad things to get to become a demon. 12. Did you have 12? Pink. I have baby. Oh, yeah, it's creepy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's... You're just ready to get mad again. Yeah. You're, you're, you're just, we know you're masquerading. You might as well just tell us what's on your mind. 33. Him. What does that mean? Stupid. <laughs> just just rude. Terrible. You are what's that? You couldn't. What do you mean? Yeah, you're frustrated. Something's wrong. Could you come and touch any of these devices? Not Charles? right. To let us know you're really here with us. You know, like, dress. At least if you go according to those rules, see, they're very, very unique mm-hmm. entities. Mm-hmm. They they really are, but they can attach to someone if you're not. It's for strong. people mm-hmm. who, but workers, families, Chicago. Hmm. But what are you talking about? What what does that mean? I'm old. Yeah. Have you traveled around a lot? Racism. My mom. You know, I'm like, my head is just... Maybe we should get caught. Do you understand? No, we don't understand. What you're up against? (laughs) What you're up against. Literally, what you're up against. Yeah. We do, and you're just a weak soul. You don't. Oh, we do. Yeah, we're stronger than you. Yeah, for sure. You don't scare any of us. Crown the liar. Oh, crown the liar. My God. Where is all this stuff coming They're from? hurting. You're oh. hurting. Oh. Yeah. Stole them. It's like oh. Oh. All of them. <laughs> What's your purpose? And you're, were you... I'll are, be with you. No, 
You're not invited to come with us. You, you can't. Drunk guy. Pick up. What is your purpose in the realm that you're in right now? Do you just want to torment people? To consume. <gasps> oh. oh my god. That could mean lots of things. That just... All ears again, God. and then nothing. You will not Deepens. consume us. And then, haha, <laughs> that same laugh again. <laughs> How many beeps you want? <laughs> and I asked him to touch the. Uh huh. Oh. Extra? <laughs> yeah, go ahead then. Go ahead and do yeah, the beeps. Yeah, give us three beeps. If you think you can. Where's the beeps? If you're so powerful, where are the beeps? Cousin is gay. My cousin is gay. He just came out as gay. Really? No. Mm -hmm. and he's... Angel. Oh my god. It's like That's he it. knows all of the details. Yeah. He's coming with. It's weird. You're not coming with. You're going to stay here, and you're going to have no power over our lives once we leave this door, this house. Hell. Time's all in. Yeah, you're stuck. You're, you're done. You can't. Magma. <laughs> Magma. We, we say that? Dozens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we like always Dozens of us. Yeah. It's funny. Magma. Like, what are we, how do we say that? From Robin. Magma. That's a joke. <laughs> triangle. Yeah, I heard joke. triangle, I guess. Uh, right? Downstairs. Or stairs. So. And, uh. Got just a Toots. I don't know. Yeah, you're just, you are lost soul completely. You can't, can't ever recover. I'm enthralled. <laughs> yeah, we know that. He has it. You're in it. Well, we're going to get out of it. You're going to stay we're, here. We're, gonna, we're leaving shortly. My shape. The top. The devil's triangle. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to. We're going to be wrapping this up. Is there anything else you want to try to tell us? Because we're not going to see you anymore. It's all around. What? See. Grab my doll. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't want to go listen to this. No. We're not listening to you. No. We are leaving. Please don't. Oh my God. Bravo. Why do you want us here if you're just going to be mean to us? Need you. Oh my gosh. What do you need us for? Enjoy. You enjoy you tormenting yes, us? Yes, he does. He does. We don't want to play Hurting. a part in your game. Hurting. Hurting. That's Even true. though you're mean to us, we still want to help done you. Soon. This is making me... Yeah, yeah I, call I and be done. Be, be done. Be done. Yeah. You can be done. Jesus. Yeah, I think this That was been... one of the darkest oh things yeah. I've ever oh, experienced. Oh. I was literally hearing break. Like, Yeah, you oh hear so many things. Um, oh, my he God. He was bringing up stuff about our families, yeah. like, like what about do you mean? Janie's yeah. cancer. Yeah, I remember hearing Janie, but I didn't yeah. think anything was relevant. And like, grandma, and, then, yeah. and then I was, and then he said about like you said heart, Poppy died of a heart attack. Oh my god! He said that right. their moms are gonna die. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's so many really? responses. Yeah, to I didn't connect like, like any of those words. Gay. Yeah, yeah, I like, heard he that and like, I thought of and cancer. Uh, yes, cancer. Like they were literally, he was saying things that like and, uh, and about every, our lives. And like every time, like we say something, like he thought. It was, an, it was an insult, then you had a laugh, like a huh. Yeah, yeah. it was ton, the same voice going like, When you, <laughs> when you look at that footage, you're going to be yeah. like, oh, yeah. that was crazy. the darkest When I was thing sitting I've there, I was like going into a like trance of like, you really do put that 
blindfold on yeah. and you just can't see anything and that's wow. all you hear and you're just like listening really deep into the frequency wow not, none of the devices went off one not, time no really not once. I remember it saying how many beeps I thought yeah. that maybe it was like we tried yeah. Yeah. No. we, tried we asked like can you touch one of these devices and, and, that, then... and I heard doll too yeah something about uh, you're gonna be freaked yeah. out when you yeah. read those it, 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 it was over. being it was that is an evil yeah. Entity like that was me, just like Elijah Mocking. said, it psychologically was trying to get it. Was us, all it was us. like getting it was like getting the points that all of us really like they it knew it would affect us yeah. by saying that. I can't wait to watch that because oh, I man. didn't connect like anything. Oh man, you're man. gonna be blown away. Well, dude, this was like a total mean spirited. This is a demon. I think this is your dark. idea about a demon. I think you know, I think there are demons. You're going to watch this and believe in demons. I promise you. There's a demon in here. Where the fuck are you? Well, he has been here. He has. Should we go to the master bedroom? Mm -hmm. soon? Sure. Wow. That's really good. I can't believe yeah. all this is silent, too. The whole time. You know? Let's do another EVP in um, there. In here still, too. I like the, um... The image though, Colin, when you're doing the Estes? Uh -huh. Just started going Just off. Just what? Just randomly, out of nowhere, branch is not news. It did not go off that entire time, and then as soon as we go to leave. <sighs> That's the first time anything went off. That's crazy, too, that downstairs it was going so nuts. Yeah, I mean, it, we didn't have one. Oh, not I'm one. just grabbing all of Let's one. keep this REM pod in, the, in here. Okay. We just have to make, Cross. there's our device, too. We gotta come back. On Watch the steps so you don't. If you're rolling on that camera. I am, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roll on the flirt now. Rapture. Rapture. Mm. Leather. Suit. Gosh, there's like nothing, you know? It's kind of like the, if it's a demon in there, it's like he had control. Right? In the sense of like nothing's gonna take over yeah. on this. Look at this. A four year old girl went missing on a tour and she was found in this closet with the door closed. She later said, I was playing with that little girl. Oh my god. Oh. 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 The heck? Should we? Let's sit in here for a second. Lust. Lust. Oh. Black. Oh. Black. Black. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Crazy. Oh man. Put your over to sit my cone. Oh. Look at it. 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 Look at This thing was going off. Please, please, for me, please. Me, please. Okay, Sally, we're going to leave soon. If you do something, we'll stay with you a little longer. I've heard you're this big, scary demon. Can you slam one of these doors or scratch me? What the f***? You've been kind of lame. What the hell? Why do you keep hurting people and doing stupid shit? And you act like a little girl? I just asked it to oh. scratch me, and look at this thing is still going It says going beg because you were asking your questions. Beg, deal, and, it, and then it was like scratch. it was like you said to scratch me, and it said deal, scratch. Oh, why is this or thing? beg, look, yeah, and look at that. It's still going. I mean, why is that stuck on that? <laughs> I don't know. This came out. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at that. This came out. Oh. Put some light on her. Take it. Here. Okay. Okay, it's just gonna have to do this. Let it play out. Oh! Oh! What the hell? Okay. 
It's like a hellish noise. <gasps> what? Is this cover on? And the air just started. Is that you showing your power? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> the moment I stepped away, it stopped. Oh. oh. oh it was showing you, like, it's here like, and go again. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Did it's only one light. Were you trying to make a deal with oh, me? Look at oh, all, the lights. all of the lights. Look at all the lights, dudes. Look. You want to make a you want to make a deal with me? Stop at, that ovulus. Look at the pink and the green, everything. Move away from that if you want to make a deal with me. Mm. What do you want? You want my soul? Mm -mm. Don't say that. I literally do not say What's that. It? I'm serious. <laughs> but even if it's What do you want from me? Do you want something from me? My life force? Is that what you're trying to take from us? When we asked that in there, it said to consume. Oh, you said that on the SD. Creepy. The only way, well, again, with the way that I look at things is I've learned is that the only way a demon could ever get back is by taking over a body because you have to die as a human to come back unless you get a really weak person so are you saying you want somebody's body why don't you step oh, closer oh, no, did you oh, think you're, did you I thought think that was you're... like moving <laughs> <laughs> so weird I'm like what the hell okay, huh. you want somebody's body uh huh yeah that's the only way I can I know that's the only way that you can get back. You can't have any of us. Nope. We're untouchable. I think you're just a big wimp. You're weak. Whoever you are, you're a piece of shit. Okay, well I know that you're actually weak and that you just insulted all of us. Mary and Courtney and Colin and me. <sighs> Yeah, but that's, we know that's what you do. So you're not coming with us. You're stuck here. I am. Yeah. I know you can get mad about it, but it's not going to make any difference. The last thing you said on the ovulus was scratch. Could you do that to any of us if you actually are powerful like you think you are? Scratch somebody, for God's sake. Stop acting like a little bitch. <laughs> oh, the scariest thing you can do is touch a little light bulb. Cool, buddy. Why don't you come running up the stairs or slam this door? And if you're the evil old woman, you're an old hag. So, Courtney, what do you think about this? I just, it's weird because I came into it knowing that it was... Oh. Yeah, we're not going to listen to you anymore right now. We came into it knowing that it was psychological, and I feel like that was just confirmed with everything we experienced. But it seems int intimidating that it would know all of these facts about us, but it's kind of pathetic, honestly. Like... It's like it's that's the only way it can affect us by bringing up like emotional things right. in our lives. But yeah, I mean, I just totally agree that it's just a bully that knows that he is weak, and he's just maybe he was bullied his life, or maybe you know you you feel like okay, we we are nice, we're trying, we're compassionate, we're trying to help you, and still you bully us. Mm -hmm. But you know what, you're not gonna get the better of us because we're strong, positive lights in the world. So it, you know, it's definitely trying to be mean, and I, I know it's trying to get to me through my mom. Yeah. And you know, but it's just like, I mean, it's just it is, a bully. It is actually. Yeah, it's trying to get to me. Yeah, my grandpa's and yeah. you through your sister. Exactly. Huh. See, yeah, we know. 
And it's almost, it's just interesting too because it's almost like it's like a cocky spirit. Like it is. everyone that's been here won't step foot in here again. And it's almost like it likes that it terrifies people. Oh, it's yeah. interrupting us too. Yeah. yeah. And it's right. always interrupting Courtney. Yeah. 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 Who's the least experienced ghost hunter? And Colin. Right. And real, remember what Elijah said? It picks on the weakest. Mm-hmm. Right? Just I mean, yeah. not like you're the weakest, but. No, but I'm the, the least, least experienced. Least experience. Exactly. Yeah. And then Colin. Also, I've had a spiritual <laughs> background I mean, in right. my life, yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Oh, look at that. Just interrupt. Right. When but, you're talking about your spiritual background. Yeah, like I grew up around church and learning yeah. about spirits True. and angels and all of that. And I feel like you can tell. And it might be a challenge, you mm-hmm. know, for you. Yeah. For him. Exactly. Yeah. In Colony, you know, a lot of people always ask, you know, or have you shifted towards believing more in demons? I mean, there's quite a bit of evidence that we've come across on these things. Um, no, I still don't believe in demons. I think it's a dark human spirit, if anything. Just an angry, angry person in life and in death, it translates. Everyone has their own opinion. Um, that's this session. My throat. So we're stressed out because randomly that entire video clip that we just shot oh, disappeared off the camera. Just took it and, put it on. and look at I just walked by the REM pod and this and it started going off like it's trying to piss me There's off. And this just said King. Scratch pre- present King. It's like, <gasps> no King Devil. And it knows it's pissing us off because of that clip that was gone. And look at this thing. This is insane. King Devil. Scratch. Present. Present. King Devil. Look at that. I think. No, I gotta the, get the key or get the laptop because I'm kind of freaking out, having a, like a panic attack that we just lost all that. I don't have the key. And and it just said. Devil voice religion. We were just talking about like spirituality and stuff and how I grew up in a religious If it if we can't recover that, that was some of the most insane I was like on the verge of tears at points in there. Like it was insane. At least you were filming on the other camera. Not the intense parts. And I was barely filming you. It was pointed at the dolls. Oh my god. Like I'm I'm pretty sure I stopped recording like right before it got really intense. Are you doing it now? Okay, yeah. So I'm currently trying to recover that video. Um so in that last clip if we can get it back, I was sitting there um talking shit to the demon thing saying i don't believe in you you're a wimp then the camera randomly dropped to zero corrupted the entire estes method clip corrupted all of our investigation all the rem pod stuff that was just happening and then immediately after we found that out the thing said religion king devil like it was waving in our face and I, i'm truly thinking about it. that's the only thing that could piss me off to that degree or make me depressed is that happening and it f- did. So now we're here, and if you can't tell, everybody's a bit gloomy. <laughs> and you know, yeah. But just thinking about how, like you would say, you feel so mad and angry mm-hmm. when this house does it to you too. Seriously. Not only the entity yeah. that did it to us, but it's weird. And he even told us it's psychological. It is. And I mean that Estes method. You have to get that I mean for the way he was constantly insulting us mm-hmm. constantly trying to get mad, as mad and, and worried yeah sad exactly every emotion you know that could be like a mean way of treating somebody right and then it was all for nothing yeah you know, letting them know like you don't have any power you know like you can't even light up a light mm-hmm. and at the very end he comes in like Colin and then he just goes berserk on the round pod and then he freaking corrupts the, the damn camera card. Like, I'm going to show you at the end. Right there. It's like, I can, I do have power. 
even if you get this back, I mean, yeah. We gotta keep telling this beast to stay here. Seriously. Do not follow us. Well, what's scary is like Elijah's saying like it showed up in other locations. Uh, right. That to me is an attachment. That's creepy. Well, like I don't get that. Donna other than said astral traveling. Yeah. Like, you know. But because I mean, it still can. Yeah. You know the is. idea of astral traveling. Mm -hmm. Like, Look at this. While I'm doing the data recovery report. right now, we've been talking about it. It's just for the first time since we stopped recording. There was a, there was a noise too. Yeah, and we, we heard like, oh, look at that. Yeah, so you think he's trying to battle still. I mean, honestly. And that just proves, Mary, right there that it's not the phone setting it off. Yeah, no, you're right holding there. it right. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Torture us! <laughs> but you're not gonna get the best of us. No. <laughs> no. Wow. <sighs> What's it looking at? Eighty-four point nine. So is it stuck there? Or just no, slow? it's just going slow. I think it's reaching the part where it needs to recover. Damn it! Yeah. Even if it like, even if we lost all of the end, like that would be fine. Just mm -hmm. give us something. Yeah. It's weird like that just goes off, you know? Right? Yeah, you gotta... This thing is when... Oh. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to just piss us off? It, yeah, it is. <laughs> Whoa. It's just, it's just like mocking. Whoa. It's all, all it does. Screw you, man. It's kind of like this. Yeah. But okay. it's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's creepy. Does that mean there's something standing no, right here? Or like, what? Uh, you know what I had when we were all like, right when we figured out that it was corrupted? And I literally had like just an, a thought of like a, just a dark presence standing by the door, kind of like just really? laughing in our pain. Oh, oh. what? Yeah. Oh. That's so creepy how it does that. He's really, Elijah was right on the money though. Like, he's been all hundreds, you said. There's nowhere like this place. Mm -hmm. Seriously. It's psychological. It is. It's, this thing has actually freaking insulted us over and over and over and got in our head, like, about our families. It's really? destroyed our all camera this. clips, multiple clips, too. I mean, it's, it's amazing, really, when you think about it. it we is. talked about all the things that would huh. get to us more than anything. It, it's totally what, the, what this is so different. It's and look at that. Look at the REM pod and the K2 yeah, going off yeah, at the it's, same it's time. very consistent. Also, look another that. creepy thing in the, during the Estes method, you said something about my grandpa's, and then you said, like, they're in hell or something. Yeah. Like, it, it was trying to, like, yeah. get under my skin. No. Like, same, thing yes. same thing with Jamie. Same thing with Jamie. She's not in hell. She's, yes. she's in your same realm, but realm but she's not hell. Exactly. And then it said like 2003. Real. I'm really tired. The real. It's like real. It's like real. Real. I'm from real. South Texas. It's a real. Where I come from. I mean I actually. That's <laughs> real. Well I jumped. No front dead. Chunk? Chunk? No, no, Chunk um, no. Who are you talking? Tom? Oh, Chunk. Tom. Oh, Chunk is. Yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Tom. 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 Oh, 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 oh yes. my Here. god! Oh, All the way to red. Oh my god! It is it's mad that we're laughing. Mad that we're happy. Yeah. It's like, like you yes, give it, it attention is. and it starts. Really it's trying. crazy too because it's whenever really we first found out the card was corrupted, yeah. all of the devices were yeah. pretty quiet. Yeah, exactly. Like, huh? huh. And now that we're like getting look over it, look it, it, like he's like, listening. Hey, maybe we should do laugh yoga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> everybody just laughs. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ha 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 
If anyone ever heard us, they'd be like, "Yeah, they're fucking yeah, wrong." With with them. Them. The demon did get to him. Right? Yeah. He's gone nuts. <laughs> the demon's like, "Yeah, I'm just not gonna fall." Yeah. Is that weird? How quiet it is, though. Seriously, you wonder where it, that's his so, uh, It feeds on negative. Mm -hmm. Do we like when we pay attention, or do you like when we pay attention to you, demon man? Have you left? Are you finally gone? Are you just sitting there, waiting on to see if we got recovery? The final insult. Right. Yeah, you got a percentage. You got a percentage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're still here. Okay. Yeah, what's the percentage? 92.4. I like it. Are you mad that I'm saving that on. file? It's still going on. Don't, don't say yeah. anything like Let's that, please. Yeah. Don't, don't. Know. I'm really sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, go. Give me an example of that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. No, yeah. no, call it gone. No, no, no. Pop that. Yeah, no. I'm sure. No, call it. Be nice to the demon. Yeah. You demon. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but you, I'm asking you to be nice. Yeah, I don't yeah, have to yeah be he nice can be. Yeah, you. You're right. You're right, buddy. I'm the elder. <laughs> Oldest. At least you know your age. Yeah, no. sure. yeah, it is coming to the end. Wow. I mean, the K2 meter never goes How many on. times have we used that? that? Yeah. I mean, count all those times. Mm -hmm. yeah, it just never goes off, hardly. This thing's going crazy. The K2 is going off because I mean, it's 99.99% .99 done repairing. And you know, if there were a steady stream of EMF here, it'd just keep going off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it goes in spurts. Look at that. Like when it's, it wants to. Okay, everybody, so after a lot of despair, we thought we lost that clip. We actually came down, weirdly enough, downstairs, like I was suggesting to them, from that room where all that negative energy was, and we have the clip. So, I don't know if we're gonna play this at the end of the investigation, or go back in time, but right now it's the end of the night. But, this isn't the end of the episode. We're gonna just get the hell out of here. And uh, we'll cut back tomorrow or the next day in the footage when we're doing our cleansing stuff. So let's cut to that. Goodbye, Sally House. Fuck you, stay here. And also, <laughs> we missed that moment when the footage came through. Every single one of us was like, Fuck you, demon! <laughs> All of us were like we screaming were like at him. High fives. <laughs> like, Fuck you! Give it, Mary. Great but yeah, let's cut to that now. So, yeah, now we're uh, we're at the end. You saw all of that. My camera glitching out again. The same thing that happened at the very beginning. And I've been sitting thinking for so long. That really is the only thing that an entity and energy could do to me personally to frighten me, to scare me. Um, because, you know, I obviously don't really believe in it, but it wanted to bring out this negativity inside of us. It wanted us to feel terrible. It targeted Courtney, my mom, my dad. But I was the one relaying the messages. I wasn't understanding them, so it didn't have a, a chance at that point to target me. Then when we moved to the other room, it targeted me. And it did the one thing that could upset me the absolute most delete the footage from my camera and that spiraled the night into a, a vortex of negativity sadness anger until we got the uh, the footage back we were able to undo what this thing had done to us and uh yeah that's really 
a shocking thing that happened to me because um, what the hell, man? How do you, how, how does a camera just randomly delete a clip that you've been filming? How does it, how does it do that? I've, I've been filming videos since I was five years old. I've never had that happen to me one time in the history of my filmmaking career. I've filmed hundreds of these videos. This is the first time that happened. So that was, uh, that was shocking, but the story doesn't end there. It was after the Sally House when the nightmares began. I'm gonna play you a clip now from uh, the end of our trip where I uh, actually drew out some of what I was seeing in my nightmares. Okay, everybody, so just doing a little informal thing before we leave our rental house. I wanted to explain a couple things that um, ever since the Sally House, I didn't want to get into before. We did the cleansing. Here's the Palo Santo. Um, here's the sage. We just did it oh, tonight. But since the Sally House, it's been about a week. Just last night, Courtney actually, like I was saying, woke up screaming in the middle of the night. Um, I was awake and I was sitting right next to her and she literally was like, ah, ah, ah. Then I had to shake you awake. I mean, it sounds like bullshit, but that like actually happened. It scared the hell out of me because it was just really loud in the middle of the night. But anyways, the last week I've been having some weird dreams. One of them was really creepy, but I decided that if I had any strange dreams, I oftentimes have nightmares, but I wrote them down. So I kept a notepad by the side of my bed, with some pens and uh, Sharpies. So if you guys have any idea what any of this might mean, let me know. I'm just gonna explain them real quick before we go home since we did the cleansing already and I feel like it's safe to talk about this stuff now. First of all is this. I'll get a shot of it afterwards. Um, this would have been last, I think, Wednesday. Um, and what I did is you'll notice there's uh, drawings in all these with Sharpie. I, when I woke up in the middle of the night, I usually started time stamping when I wrote them down, so you see 5.53 a.m. Um, and I would just draw kind of what I saw and then write any details when I woke up. So I'll just read it to you. Um, it is now morning, hard to recall specifics of dream, but it was an overall good dream, enjoying a day at Disney World with the family, but off behind crowds, I would on occasion catch a glimpse of a tall shadowy figure, didn't seem to want to interact, but felt like it was watching us from a distance. And then I said update later on, uh, later on through the, later later on through the day. Seems like I can remember it saying, where are we going at one point? So, whatever, if you can see, um, here's what I drew out. Here's Mary, Jeff, Colin, Courtney, Tessa, my sister was there too. Five of us, then others, here's like a crowd of people. And I do remember this, then a shadowy person up here who was, it was like every time you'd be in our dream, we were like getting food. You'd kind of glance and occasionally see like a shadowy thing, just kind of staring, looking at us. Um, or if you're on a ride, if you're in line in the dream, they were behind us or something like that. It was just something that was strange. And I drew this very shitty Mickey Mouse in case you didn't get the Disney World memo. <laughs> then, um, Here's this one. This is the second one. Um, once, I'll once again, I'll put a shot of it over this, but it says right here, dream recorded. Dream recorded at 7.06 a.m. Because I woke up and wrote it down. Once again, tried to draw this, then I filled in with some colors and stuff later. Um, dream began with me sleeping in bed. So I think this was... Thursday or Friday. That one was definitely Wednesday, the Disney World one. But dream began with me sleeping in bed. So in my dream, I was in bed. I heard a noise and was awakened suddenly from sleep in dream. So in my dream, I was I woke up, and, but I was still in the dream, but I was in the bedroom that I was in, if that makes sense. Suddenly the alarm clock buzzed. I noticed the clock was stuck at 2.22. Don't know significance of time. Then I was thinking, because I wrote this later on in the day, maybe 2.22 is a variant of 666 or a Bible verse. I haven't really looked into it yet. Don't know and can't tell. But when I silenced the alarm, I heard laughter, almost a crowd sound. Definitely a bad dream. So if you understood that, 
all the dream was was me waking up in my dream hearing the alarm clock buzzing I did it turn it off you know the old click and then I just heard a bunch of laughter and then I woke up but yeah that's this you can see it's kind of what the there isn't even an alarm clock in the bedroom that we're in so that's weird and I don't have one at home but 0222 is the alarm and then I just drew some laughter I guess that day to symbolize that it was different voices then this one is the one that was definitely the creepy dream out of all these um, like I'm saying I don't think that there's anything to this but I have a, a lot of nightmares probably because of the job but this one is definitely the creepiest looking and I've had dreams like this before with you know creepy faces and shit but it's the timing of it when uh, when we've just done you know the sound of the house and stuff and everybody Mary's had bad dreams you're filming very bad dreams this week Courtney's had bad dreams I just started actually writing them down um, so here's what I wrote 106 a.m. I am wide awake I saw this face in my dream I was standing somewhere looking out a window as I stared through the window out into the dark this face slowly came into view it did not move it was completely still when the face got about 10 feet from window I woke up strong feeling of fear and then I wrote later update I remembered more sentence was heard he was hungry don't know so I don't know who he is, why he was hungry. I don't know if he ate. I don't know if that's got anything to so it's just like <laughs> anything to do with that. But kind of I tried to like just I'm not the talented drawer and I didn't want to make this drawing super detailed, but I added like some of this red stuff when I woke up and did the update and everything. Um, but I remember there was no hair, not even any follicles, or it was smooth, like a completely smooth, almost alien-like head feminine features and masculine features um it almost it had like both almost uh genders masculine and feminine together on the same face um note there was no nose just a hole i've never seen that in a movie or anything before just a small pinhole um there was red i can't read that red on borders of eyes veins maybe but no pupils or eyelids so yeah White eyes, some veins, no pupils, no eyelids, just eyeballs. Almost triangular lips, dry looking, cracked. So this is this strange mouth. And then sunken face. So, yeah, if you can imagine, it was almost like it was far outside the window and I was standing there just looking out the window. Almost like a scene from uh, Alien vs. Predator Requiem, if you've seen that movie. Totally obscure reference, but... It was like the face was just slowly, like inch by inch, coming closer to the window. Then, but the, the face wasn't moving. It was just like this, like just like gliding, almost like spirited away. That movie, just getting closer, and then I just woke up. So that's obviously creepy. But like I said, I've had a lot of nightmares before. Then this is the one that really disturbed me. Here you go. Don't want to get demonetized for this I don't think it will um, but this was a dream I had two nights ago I didn't have a dream last night but that's weird that Courtney woke up last night and screamed don't know what that meant but I didn't have any dreams last night um, so this says three images bloody razor bottle of alcohol which I drink and then become ill from third images of a pill bottle and for some damn reason I take I I pop a handful of the pills and once again fall very ill i did not enjoy this dream especially or i did not enjoy this dream it was not scary but m more depressing and realistic um almost being forced to take my own life so in the dream it was kind of like um you i didn't like want to drink the alcohol or take the pills but it was like I just did, and then in the dream I got like sick to my stomach and uh, just not feeling very well, and then I just saw a razor blade. I don't know if that has to do with my tattoo, but it was the same kind of razor blade, but it was not broken. Um, then I wrote down here, heard another voice, need a friend, question mark, sounded like a friendly woman's voice. At one point it's like I'm hearing just one or two words in these dreams. 
and then need to add here not a very not very positive thoughts it didn't seem like it was trying to hurt me more like my dream was forcing me to hurt myself if that makes any sense this dream was very realistic and seemed to want to scare me i don't understand so there's all four of the dreams i went disney world alarm clock on 222 Creepy face. Uh, death. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's interesting. Can you yeah. remember any of the dreams you had? Um, I had a dream last night where somebody, it was me, Colin, and my brother, and somebody was trying to get into our house. And they had a big knife, and they were dressed like a clown. And I woke up or he woke me up when I started screaming at the top of my lungs, so. Did the clown have a face? <laughs> Did he have a clown face? Mm-hmm. It's kind of creepy, honestly, if right? you think about it. I mean, I'm assuming it wasn't exactly like this, no, but. but yeah, it's similar. This could be a clownish face. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, I didn't even heard you say the clown thing until right now on camera. Really scary. Yeah, so, I guess we'll tune back into you guys, but, uh, this is our last night here in Kansas. We're flying out tomorrow morning. Made it through the trip. And we're cleansed, but we're definitely bringing this back with us to Austin. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hit the hay, guys. Thanks for uh, listening to my little rant. Yep. Good night. Stay spooky. <laughs> Are you, you going to stop? <laughs> hey, everybody. So it's been a week, a full week, since we were at the Sally house. We've had a lot of weird things happening to us. Courtney's been having nightmares. We went to a uh, witchcraft energy shop today and picked up some sage, some Palo Santo, and some other things, and we're gonna cleanse ourselves because we couldn't get in for a cleansing ritual, but it's a full moon tonight, so hopefully all that energy will help us actually get rid of this negativity that surrounded us um, at the Sally house. I will point out that I just used the restroom, and right when I, you can see that light is on, and this light right here was on, then right when I walked out of the bathroom right now, the light burned out right when I walked by. Jesus. Did you on the wires? <laughs> no. No, I did not. Okay, you guys want to light it? Sure. And it's sage. White sage. I can't see what's on my finger. So, didn't she say we had to ha set out the intent that we mm -hmm. want to get rid of the negative energy? Yes. Yeah. By burning this white sage, we want to cleanse the negative energy from our beings and our souls. So please allow this sage to cleanse us from any negative attachments or energy. Okay. Jeff, go first. Bad energy, please leave us. <laughs> Jeff, put your arms up. Turn. Don't act like Goofy. I did. You had a Goofy little smile. All the way up. Oh. We want to get rid of the bad energy attached to Jeff. Courtney? Okay. Stand this way. We want to get rid of this bad energy. This energy is not welcome here. Put your arms up all the way and turn to the side. We want this energy to leave you. Other side. Okay. Sure. Yep. All right. Energy, bad energy. Leave Colin. I've had those yeah. families thought we were doing well, some yeah. witchcraft. Exactly. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's cool concert. <laughs> Okay. Mary. 
want this energy to leave you. Can you turn around? The bad energy from the Sally house leave you. Turn to the side. Our intentions are pure and they are set. Other side. We want this energy to leave. Okay, now let me get all three of you guys stand. All three of you, we are getting rid of the bad energy. <laughs> what the hell are you doing Closer. with those hands? That's I don't think that's, that's a part of it. Yes. Yes. Really? Bring it. Really? Bring it in. Bring it in to you. It looks so strange. <laughs> We're like, come, yeah. come. <laughs> we want the bad energy to leave. Same for me. <laughs> I think I got it. Well, okay. you guys feel cleansed? And then you're supposed to take this too. We have the Palo Alto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, she said. So we have these selenite crystals that we bought as well that are supposed to protect from bad energy and cleanse the soul. And then to end this, we're gonna light this Palo Santo. I'm gonna bring one of those home with me actually yeah. okay. to our apartment. Okay. Here you go. I'm gonna light it? I was gonna light it. Okay. There's a lot of bugs out tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's 90. Yeah. It's hot out. I'm letting go of this negative energy. Perfect. Yeah? <laughs> Not even any smoke coming out of this damn thing. <laughs> Maybe just wave it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't doing too much. Courtney took all the smoke. I know, sorry guys. All the glory. Jesus, <laughs> Courtney. I'm letting go of all the negative energy. Undo me? Yeah. I also am letting go of all the negative energy. Inviting good energy in. Okay. Alright, so that completes our... Uh, our cleanse hopefully it works thank you guys for watching our investigation of the sally house a lot of weird stuff i know we're going to have more in the documentary but if this is the end thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you on the next episode it's colin here mary courtney <laughs> and jeff and as always everybody stay, stay spooky. spooky all right <laughs> and even after that once we got home my uh my mental health has, has not been very good the last couple of weeks. I want to be honest with everybody online. I've always struggled with uh, all sorts of just, uh, just dark things, um, depression, anxiety. Just it's, it's okay to be open about those things because it happens to a lot of people. For me, it happens more frequently than I'd like to, but I have recently been in a very uh, just dark place, not a good... Um, mental headspace. It all really started after the Sally House. It's gotten worse. I've had to see a counselor, and uh, because yeah, it's been it's been real rough on me lately. Something is something happened, and I'm not gonna lie to myself and say that it didn't. Hello, um, Colin wanted me to tell you what my experience has been since we were at the Sally House, and I haven't had as many as everybody else. But right away, I had a lot of nightmares. And I usually don't ever have nightmares, but whatever it was in the Sally house was threatening our family and my mom specifically, who is Nona, and you've seen her in an episode back at the farm. But she had a stroke about a year and a half ago, and we have all been very worried about her. She's doing really well, but it's still a big worry and I have just had a feeling of dread and just kind of my heart pounding a lot lately where all of a sudden I just get anxiety over it which I haven't ever had before and so nightmares just things threatening my family in the nightmares and then just this for some reason kind of a pounding heart middle of the night I wake up just 
with kind of a little bit of a feeling of doom and worry. So it was a crazy experience and it, it's gotten better since we've gotten away from the Sally house a little bit, but I do agree with Jeff and I would like to have a cleansing back home and just make sure that there's nothing attached to us. So that's my story. Okay, Colin wanted me to tell you some stories about um, how I've been feeling since uh, the Sally house and uh, and kind of a lot of weird things that have happened. Uh, I'd say even up to this point, I'd have more anxiety for some reason. Uh, sounds odd, but um, probably the biggest thing for me when I got back, I got back to home in South Dakota and then Mary left for North Dakota to stay with her family for a while. And I had uh, immediately a lot of nightmares and specifically uh, kind of, I would say nightmares, one that really, really stands out is one with a being pursued by a guy on a pizza cutter. It sounds really strange, but like a pizza cutter device that's spinning like a, a blade and uh, would be chasing me with this. It's almost like a Halloween type thing, the, the movie Halloween or and then I remember it kind of like it sounds bad, but at the end, kind of going into my chest, like burrowing into my chest, and I wake up and I'd be like, hearts racing. And uh, I had that repeated maybe, you know, two or three nights. Uh, and other kind of nightmares that I had really where I just didn't feel well when I woke up. It was ones I can't quite remember, but they were not uh, good dreams. Uh, that was kind of followed by kind of three nights in a row for me that really stood out when Mary was gone. I had a loud crash in the middle of the night, uh, so, kind of like I thought like a pan would fall off in the kitchen counter and land on the floor. And that really startled me. I got up and turned the lights on and <clears throat> went out. There was just literally nothing at all in the house or anywhere that I could find something like that. So I kind of chalked that up to just, uh, you know, whatever, and went back to sleep. The next night, um, again, I had a bunch of noises uh, out and down the hallway from our main bedroom into like the kitchen area and downstairs. Uh, and that actually made me, I go, uh, you know, we, we do, I do have a few guns for personal protection. And I literally went to my safe in one of my bedrooms and got out my handgun and because I thought there was maybe somebody in the house and I I literally went through every room downstairs I went through every bathroom closet and of course there was no one there and ended up putting a gun on my nightstand which I only I think I've done that maybe twice ever just because I thought there was somebody actually around there and then the next day um, was the weirdest thing for me at the middle of the night. And again, it was about like, I don't know, two, three in the morning. And I woke up, I heard some noise. And uh, as I told Colin, I called him the next morning. Uh, when you look out our bedroom, our bedroom door is usually open about so far, looking out into the hallway. And I can see some light from one of our windows. And ultimately what happened was everything really closed in on my vision. It got really dark and almost like tunnel vision and focused on that crevice in the door. And then all I could see, and <laughs> gosh, I'm getting kind of like feel weird right now, but uh, all I could see is like a blob or a huge shadow. And uh, that just scared the crap out of me. And I, I turned on my light on my nightstand right away and got up and obviously Again, nothing was there. But as I tell you this, I'm actually feeling like uh, all the hair stand up on me again here. It's kind of been kind of weird. So, um, and to this time, even now, I, I feel like uh, I've had some more nightmares, if you will. I don't know if this is residual, but it is kind of getting to the point where probably for the first time I'm kind of thinking like maybe I need to go see uh, a psychic medium back at home 
and just kind of understand if there is anything attached, you know, to me. And so that's that's kind of my story. And, you know, it's really been just kind of like a state of anxiety, I think, is kind of the best way to explain it. And all those episodes happening afterwards has just been very, very weird to think about. So that's kind of going to be my plan. Uh, we were cleansed with ourselves, but I think I want to see a psychic medium that we know back home when I get back. I just decided that that's going to be kind of the best route for me uh, to try to understand it a little bit more. But I do think that it started after the Sally House, you know, for me. So, so yeah, that's my story. So I'm going to put a a crisis line, a hotline number in case any of you guys, after even watching this video, experience some of the things that I've experienced. Always feel free to reach out to myself on social media. I try to be uh, as open and communicable as I can be. Um, but that's really the end of the video. We're just waiting now to see uh, to see what happens next. You, you just got to be careful when you do this stuff. Um, you know. You never know, uh, never know what you're going to get, what you're talking to. So, Colin Brown, um, I'm okay, everybody. I want to tell you all that I'm okay. It's just been, uh, it's been a lot lately. So, um, I love you guys so much online. Thank you all. Um, we're actually, cool little announcement. We're going to invite a select few of you fans out there to Courtney and I's wedding. We're actually going to send you wedding invites um, have you physically come give you guys a table at the wedding and allow you all to enjoy the uh, the day with us because I feel like we all are a big family. I wish everybody could come, but unfortunately that would be extremely expensive. So uh, yeah, I hope this video was as uh, shocking and uh, and um, and just what I've been talking about. I think now you can see that. Uh, it's real. What we experienced that night is real. Anyways, yeah, it's calling here, guys. I'm signing off. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching the Paranormal Files. Always be careful. Always reach out to those you love if you need help. And uh, stay spooky. Hello! <laughs>